Hey guys, and welcome to the Mysteries of Seal and Door episode 126. I am Eugene Gagnor, and uh, last week we found a sword, right? Pretty much, yeah. yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Some sword. Found I did it! Sword. I recapped the session, guys. This is a momentous occasion. Um, other things that happened were they dungeon crawled to get the sword. We also found a scarab of protection. That was definitely uh, it was such a hidden. surprise. We had no idea what it so was. Well, Super it was hidden well so hidden. well. Uh, yeah, have you and guys identified got, what that does? Has anybody looked and figured out what the I scare totally protection does? I totally meant to look it up, and I never did. Um, I know what yeah. does. We also found yeah, the ghost. It would have been organ. real useful during that fight you were in. <laughs> <laughs> we also found the ghost. Well, you have to attune to it, so body. we wouldn't have had time anyway. Body swap. Yeah. yeah, so continuing working towards Oren's body swap. Yep, that is the situation going on. However, uh, as far as I'm aware, you guys uh, had just returned from your sort of um, trance situation. And Cleary walks into the room. And he's like, <gasps> and he's got a whole um, tray of snacks and tea. He said, you started without me? You're late. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, I thought it was it's set for 10. What, what time did you start? I said that we wanted to be done by 10. Oh, dear God. Oh, no. Oh, no. But thank he's... you for the snacks. I'm really hungry. <laughs> he hands it to you. He's like, is you everyone alive? Chance. Is everyone you okay? You missed the chance? You could have almost gotten killed by a soul-eating sword. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Uh, who's a what? Yeah, this a guy soul? eats souls, apparently. Eating sword? Yeah, this one. And just hold, <laughs> is like, he really hold, hungry? He and he looks at it and he's like, oh, oh, it's that. When you've lived as long as me, you can see evil a certain way. And that is an evil fucking sword, Mitnir. Oh, yeah. I don't don't worry, he's not it. He's not going to have it long. Probably. You, you can hear as you're holding it, he says, yeah. <laughs> what a little bitch. I want to eat his soul so bad. Oh, God, let me taste it. I bet it tastes like books. Oh, I bet it tastes like books and not ever nutting. Um, <laughs> I mean, he just like gently sets the sword down and just lets <laughs> go. It's like. <laughs> I'm wondering, I'm assuming. Maybe I should take it tonight and then give it to her in the dream. I don't. I don't know how any of this works. Maybe she'll come to you if you have it. I don't know. Maybe. I don't really want to go to bed with that sword, but I think I might. <laughs> Maybe I can just do into the dream room right now with it. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I I don't know. Um, I don't think the rest of us are really good at going places like that. Yeah. Did did. I'll yeah, I, I suppose we didn't receive like a, a send the parcel here. Or, yeah. Yes. No. Um, hmm. No, that part well, does that not is get covered. A bit. And then as you guys are talking, there's a moment where suddenly there's like, you can feel a presence behind you. <gasps> and as you turn around, you like you expect to see, oh god, the Raven Queen's here all along, but it's actually just a cloaked individual. Um, their eyes are very pale. Their skin is. Almost pallid in a way. Um, Hold up. And as. Aren't we in the mansion? Never mind. I lied. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> you guys, there's, they're, like, they're like, oh, you get the feeling like there's somebody behind you and you look and it's just one of your invisible servers going. Oh. <laughs> Gary. Did they see me? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I forgot you were in the mansion. Uh, yeah. Not that a god couldn't find a way to... But anyways. That is the rules. Yep, so you guys sit here quietly wondering how you were going to get in there. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I could go to sleep and you could always just Pop walk into, into my dream. dream. And then... Uh, the thing is, I don't... Hmm. Okay. I mean, it's your sister. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I it's don't think you, the sword seems like it's kind of scared of your sister. I, I don't think it's stupid enough to try to kill you. <laughs> Maybe you can hear the sword going, ah, even from a distance, you can kind of hear it laughing. <laughs> Just like, mm. <laughs> I wouldn't trust it. 
as far as you can throw it, and we could probably throw it pretty far. Okay, well, why don't we do this? I'm going to grab it and try to eat myself into... Uh, I'll use the dream spell if I have to. Eat myself into the dream space and try to find... While everyone's still here and can keep guard. <laughs> Alright, just go ahead and make me a... I want to say just like wisdom saving throw attempting to do that. Okie dokie. Uh, 13. Uh, with the 13, you jump in and you guys watch as Seti grabs the sword and then just falls backwards. <laughs> it was like, ah! <laughs> Cleary, Cleary does like swoop in and catch her. He's like, oh god, why does she do this? This is the this fifth time in between. Uh, and as he like gently lays you down, um, you guys watch on, I guess, eagerly as she just is catatonic there on the ground. Um, Seti, you drop into the waters. And this time you realize you're not alone. You look for a sword in your hand and find none. But instead, tackling behind you, you... <laughs> Thank you so much for releasing me for a small bit. And you turn around and you look and you see what appears to be this wispy individual, his eyes piercing from the darkness. And you see that there are far too many of them. It almost looks like there are, are way too many um, irises and pupils existing in the same space where a normal eye would be all just looking at you in the darkness. <laughs> are you uh, ready to go? He just starts like twisting around you as this like wispy form. He's like, oh yeah, tell me where we're going, dream I mama. I immedi <laughs> immediately try to take us back to that place I found last time. All right. Uh, make me a survival check. This is like dream navigation. Ooh, 18. With an 18, you do find yourself once again just feeling that sense of pulling towards the darkness beyond. And as you do so, you feel the light sort of like shift past you, moving by like you're in Star Trek, just just like passing by. And then the next thing you know, you find yourself surrounded by absence in all directions. And he goes, ooh, a time indeed. And then you see something, a shape, begin to form out of nothingness. You have returned. And then suddenly this cackling individual becomes a wispy shadow that is now kneeling in the darkness. There doesn't even seem to be like before you find yourself floating and yet somehow he has put himself in a kneeled position. And he goes, lady, you've returned. Well done. I'm impressed that you were able to accomplish this in but one night. The Black Razor is an ordinary creature. Yes, uh, it was not easy, but uh, I'd like to get him off my hands as quickly as possible. So here we are. You're lucky that he knew of me already, or your soul may have been in danger. Never take creature such as this with you into the dreamscape and he goes Ugh. and you watch as a sword disappears all of you see the sword disappear from her head it just like unravels itself and like shadow in the reality uh, of Seelandor itself and then you watch as it appears in her hand and she's massive compared to you and yet she still holds this sword and um, it doesn't like appear in her hand like holding it blade wise it doesn't get huge it's just hovering above her head and it's barely like visible above her palm just this sort of like hovering thing a small bead of darkness that just seems to give off a little bit of extra energy and she goes a job well done and she closes her hand he says ah! <laughs> says, she says so i believe there was something that you needed yes we got the night orchid, or the ghost, the ghost orchid? Ah. But 
still remains to do the thing itself. Of course. Your skeleton companion will know how to do this. But in addition, you'll be needing that soul trinket. She gestures forward and you see what appears to be a small twisted piece of wood. This is it? Yes. Well, doesn't look like much, but we all know appearances are deceiving. Okay. If there is one thing that it will do, is it will help to anchor the friend that you know is Orin to this new body. I wish you the best of luck in your venture. Well, Thank you. Really. Goodbye. Bye. She just sort of turns and vanishes in the crows once again. Or Take ravens. The... A brain. Blackbird. Take the thing and wake up. As you wake up, you see that she wakes up and her hand, like, it seems to, like, sprout and grow this, like, twisted kind of piece of wood. She just lifts it up. You guys just watch this thing disappear off of her chest and then, like, her hand kind of just flopped out and then <laughs> this thing was there. I hold it out to Orin. This is what will anchor you. She doesn't even open her eyes as she pops up. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> like rising out of the coffin. Uh, yeah, no, I, I sit up and offer the thing to Orin. Archie will know what to do with it. Okay. I'll hold on to it for now, I guess. Um, Wood. You reach towards this thing and you feel a strange sensation wash over you. It's almost like you're being pulled deep into your subconscious, like instantly just reaching out towards it. You know that if you if you touch it, you will fade from consciousness for certain. Mm. So I will kind of pull back. Oh. Like, uh, I don't think I should touch that yet. Got it. Weird Got a really stuff. weird feeling reaching towards it. Okay. Well, Graham, do you want that? You like weird things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> give it yeah, to Graham, it's just, a, it's just a piece of wood. Yeah. I can't give yeah, it to Bitner okay. because he'll carve something in it. Just put it in What's his the back. matter with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Horn comes back later all weird. You don't know why. <laughs> Talks backwards. <laughs> just got stuffed car. Yeah, just pictures of who knows what. <laughs> yeah. I was helping. <laughs> so you trick. guys have some of the ingredients that you needed to perform the ritual, the most difficult to acquire ingredient. Um, not only that, you have um, Orin's soul trinket. Whatever that might be. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. We need one more. Anyways. Thing, right? mm -hmm. Um... I don't My think notes so. from that are like two sessions ago. I have all the ingredients for the um like the ritual itself or No, I have all the ingredients for the potion that was that what mm. Krishna told me? Or was that something different? Oh yeah. The or was Krishna that from... was telling you about how to make like you need to do like a giant thing or whatever. Like if you're talking about the giant serum. Was that with this black orchid? Or am I mixing things up? I think you're mixing things up. Black orchid was for the Archibald soul transfer thing. The, go the ghost orchid thing is, yes, it's for Orin. Okay, so we wanted, yeah. Well, I knew both of it was for Orin. Yeah, I don't remember what was the ingredients that you needed for your. Maybe I'm Let crazy now. Struck... Let me open my Light... notes. From lightning five strike metal, sessions Griffin ago. feather, lightning struck metal, Griffin feather, and black ghost orchid. Was that for his? Yeah, that's for his thing. That's to, for his skin. Or... No, that's not for that's... his skin. That's that's, that's for, for his that's muscles. For, that's for his trans 
hit transition of the soul. That's part of the ritual. Uh, okay. Oof. Yeah. I'm just a mess. <laughs> it's because we're doing so many things at, at once, right? Yeah. Whatever it is, I know I need to make some kind of concoction out of that. The giant yeah, potion thing minutes. you were going to make was for the muscle growth. Yeah, and that's basically what you need is like a um, slightly modified serum that is whatever the potion of giant strength is. I found it. What? Yeah, so... Yeah, you wanted that. That was what you learned about from Krishna. To split Soren's, Oren's soul, said he needs to work on fabricating his ideal inner realm. The one... To, true to his true soul without Northod in it. Uh, we got the permission and the item and the thing that just happened. You should, you should work really hard probably to find out what that might be. <laughs> yeah, I need I need to get us uh, cracking on that. Uh, we need an item of significance to Oren. Which we have. Right? E That's what this is. Yeah. yeah. E then... Either item of significance or his soul trinket, which is the best thing you could get. I guess the Night Orchid was for the potion. It was for Archibald's it, thing. It Apparently Archibald told us we needed that stuff I already went over. And then... I think the Orchid was second. Oh, am I crazy? Was I crazy? I don't know. My notes don't I lie. I think she wrong. might have... I think I Krishna wrong? might have told me this for. I think she might have told me this for. The potion to make the stuff grow. I could be wrong though. I think I think so. You, you can't. You're not. You're not using black ghost orchid to make anything grow on an Oren's body. I'll tell you that much. What am I? Okay, I might have just forgotten to write the orchid down, which seems silly of me because I love orchids, but. It's the orchid not. was definitely oh, for write? the soul transference thing. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was too. one of the key ingredients that was needed because Archibald got All one right. from. All right, why? The Raven this is my order. fault as a DM for just saying. Okay, well, that. whatever. It, it's, it's, it's in this. It's in the same concoction as the Griffin Feather and the Lightning Strike Metal. Hmm, that's right. So I'm I'm supposed to combine it with Lightning Strike Metal and Griffin Feather. Yep. So whatever it is, it's with those two things. And it just forgotten to write down whatever. I mentioned collecting the metal. Yes. Uh, right. So this is virtually a reconstituted uh, version of reincarnation. It's like a different version of reincarnation dust. OK. When you look at those two ingredients, uh, like but white ghost orchid seed and then lightning struck metal in your potion thing, you'll yeah, find that yeah. the only thing that related to that is the reincarnation dust. Okay. So this is basically used as a specific form of trans muting like reincarnation material. Gotcha. Uh, cool, cool, cool. I believe what she told you, if you do look up, though, can, let, me, let me just look this up real quick. Uh, Potion of Giant Strength. Yeah, so you would be needing a Potion of Giant Strength. Um, and you would use that as like a tincture, so you might have to like change it over mm -hmm. time. But depending what you need is specifically what she was telling you is you need a part of a corresponding giant. Um, if you want the strength to be a certain level, right? The, the stronger the giant want, you use. We also want something that's more agile, I think, too, is what she was saying. Right. Yeah. So you might want to do more... something. Yeah. No. Something that's like more, less more root life, strength and more less, more less mass. Yeah. 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 So there you go. I think we sorted that out. So frost, frost lichen, yeah. and instead of a fingernail from a giant, something that's more strength and, uh, well, I don't even know what orange strength is, but. Um, Deer antlers. My current strength is 90. Yeah. Okay, so strength and dexterity. Yeah, I mean, and you could use like parts from a giant and parts from something else. Like you can go buck wild, go crazy. 
you're the concoctor. What is a what is a Use, thing? That, Ropsy, uh, of course, is as you know, your superior as an alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure she is. Why is that fun? <laughs> Because <laughs> you won the you won the competition, but he spent like six more months studying than you. She she, she <laughs> became proficient at it at the last minute, yeah, and and beat him she because she got slightly better. I'm proficient roles. in three potion things, but it's she already three. had poison and herbalism, so she was yeah. she was good on those. He got sidetracked well, by his drug herbalism. empire, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. It's funny. Um, so yeah, you guys no, could if you, if you wanted help. Yeah, <laughs> if I'm you want help, up, you I'm can gonna work look at, it together. I'm gonna look up some beasts and see what I can find. Um, anyways, in the interim, what would you guys like to do? You are in the the manor. I believe it is the second day of week seven, uh, and it's night. Yeah, so you know, probably about bedtime. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I think like I'm kind of gonna hit the hay, like, yeah, just like a little hangout, eat the snack tray that Cleary brought. Yeah, all right, so you guys you all just you know eat, spend pit. some time talking together. Um, Grim, you've got you've got his soul trinket in your hand, and and and, and you can see like, or whether you want to or not, you just kind of find yourself looking at this thing, like it's it's not. It's just like this weird sensation where that's that's important to you, like the real you, whatever you are, that the real you, that that is, that is something connected to you, and you know it. Um, and it, it tried to knock you out somehow, and that made you feel weird, but like you can see that that is that is something. Yep. Also, guys, we got to divvy up this loot. <laughs> he looks at it and he goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> this loot, of money, that's loot. What? We do One have of the to... things we got was a potion of frost giant strength. Ooh. Ooh. Could you use that? Uh, cool, but I feel like I feel like starting fresh because it's already. He looks for a moment. Set. And he... You guys see Claire's thinking about it for a second. She's like, "Does you have one of those weird mushroom things? Wouldn't, it, wouldn't that be useful, right? You could take the essence of that potion, mix it with the essence of another, and... Don't these potions usually have a piece of the giant in them? Yes, but what I'm concerned about is that this 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 potion is already... It's already stabilized. Oh, you yeah. Know, it's the, not the in ingredients... A... You know, it's it's already reached its... You know, it's hard to take it once it's already been, once the ingredients have already settled into, like, a stable form. You can't um, take, like, the piece of giant out of it and use that? Well, it's already been it's pulverized down, and uh, broken down into its components, and well, it's not how it works. Might, you can't just, might you can't just, it's just floating around in there. D&D might say that. You can't, that's not the situation. You can't just, just unbake a cake. You can't, <laughs> you can't just unbake a cake and then use the ingredients again, you know? <clears throat> that's um, fair as, especially after you've already no, eaten it yeah. as said he is eating some cake <laughs> <laughs> she thinks it's cake it's cornbread she's sad <laughs> oh bleh. we also got this pair of gauntlets worst Maybe, cake uh, ever clear you can look at that oh did I tell you what the gauntlets were nope he's like uh oh <laughs> Um, whoopsies. Yep. <laughs> I have I have a thing that I pull up that is just a generator of loot, and then I read the loot off to you and said, "All right." <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have that page up anymore. Uh, you know what? I think I know what it was though. But even better, you guys might have a take too. So I'm gonna go to uh this page. Here, well, give me a, give me a page, bro. Don't be like this. Don't be like this. I'll be like, Seti, here's oh, the key to level like three. That. You held the other key, so here's this one. Oh, all right. Okay, yes, I can do that. Uh, we got this oh, yeah. of health. 
I think anyone yeah, can Okay, so they were just gauntlets of, of ogre power. That's all they were. Okay. okay, I'll just write that down. Uh, I'm trying to find... Is there a way to filter monsters by, like, specific ability scores? Probably not. Probably not. I would say that you are, at this point, you are in the library. Uh, would be my guess, right? If you're yeah, looking up definitely monsters. looking. I'm looking. So you're monsters. looking at the various bestiaries within the place. Um, well, that's what I was. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to do that, but like you know, on the on the monster menu. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and make me an investigation uh, check. Yeah. You. Fourteen. Fourteen. You're looking through these books and you're trying to find something that's like, what is like the most agile creature? And there are plenty of agile creatures. There's like cats and there's wolves and like there's 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 plenty of different things that are agile. But then you question to yourself, like, I am using this to affect my friend's stuff. So make me an intelligence check and see if you can if, if you have a moment of inspiration. Yeah, Bropsy's he's probably there helping you. She's also looking. 18. Uh, but am I rolling with advantage then or with guidance or what? Uh, it's plus. With guidance, yeah. She said. Okay. What is what is guidance? Is it like D4, D4 or something? D4. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, so that's a 22 then intelligence check. With the 22, you have a small moment of re remembering you. There is a creature that is celestial <gasps> and incredibly fast. Our besties. And they might even be willing to help you. Mm -hmm. um, do you know Holly what I'm talking Fox. about? Holly Fox. Yeah. The messengers of the celestial lands, save for specifically the uh, messenger archons, the trumpet archons. Um, they often use holly fonts to travel around and take care of business. And they are some of the fastest creatures in existence. Fairly so that is an option. Well, all right. Sorry, did we get the name of the gauntlets? Ogre Power. Gauntlet of Ogre Power. Ogre Power, gotcha. Holly fonts. Well, what about... What about other strong, what about strong celestial things? I guess we probably want that. Stick with the celestial theme. We don't have to go with giants, right? Strong celestial. I will get get some solar blood in there. <laughs> solar, yeah, solar. I'm sure this. Any solars want to give us some blood? I'm sure that'll go over well, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. His, his dad was exiled for desecration of the soul, but you can try. I mean, I, don't, I wasn't going to ask him. Uh, well, I don't, I don't want to desecrate anything, but, you know, we would have to contact probably Bala, huh? There are certainly options for people or entities that you could contact. Um, but those, that's the information that you sort of glean is like you do remember that there's that one really, really fast creature. Um, it does occur to you guys at this point, Orin's really probably going to miss his wings. Well, then we should really we should really just go chop up some, some planetars or some solars then. It's okay. We got the winged backpack he made. We can just put that on his back. Or a diva. Wait, there's divas out there. In fact, why don't we just go kill the planetar and steal that body? I'm sure that'll go over well. Why not give him dragon wings? Come here, big ear. Last for me. Grabs big ear. Like, man, that's he, doesn't have, he doesn't actually have wings, but he's like, I'm just taking your scales. We gotta get some dragon in there. <laughs> and It's up to you guys what you want to do. It is getting late later in the evening or later in the at night. At, at some point, point okay, before around. we go to bed, I want to actually spend a little bit of time with the thing the Raven Queen gave me 
to see if I can like maybe maybe I'll even want to take it into the dream realm with me tonight to see if it can reveal anything to me about what his ideal inner realm might be. So you're just gonna spend some time like meditating Muggling. more or less yeah, with Orange Soul Trinket. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, so Warren is still sitting there with a pile of gold and gems. Uh, <laughs> as everybody just s spread out to go it's find a way to save his life. And, and he's just like, <laughs> yeah, or you are just sitting there. Like everybody got up to go find a way to save you. And you're just sitting there with your pile of money. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what are you doing about, are you, do you want to do anything? Or are you just going to, you going to head to bed? You're going to portion money or what's up? What are you doing to, with your evening? I kind of wanted to find out. Um, I mean, I'm going to give everyone all this stuff. I don't think I'm keeping any of it, except maybe some of the money. Because I need money for materials. All right. Um, but other than that, I don't really have any plans. So, Do you have the portions for everybody? Oh, not yet. I was adding all the gems to the, my actual inventory. Oh, okay, gotcha, make, gotcha. Sure, make sure to convert all the grim stuff to platinum since I still haven't cured myself. <laughs> <laughs> Never going right. though. It's much easier to carry one type. Uh, but Grim will uh, Grim will call Bala and leave a message or whatever, because you know, time passes so much faster outside of Earth's wait. Much, much slower. Yeah, yeah, out there. Uh so. real just real quick, I there's a coin converter that will just convert all of your stuff into so. For five players, it is eighteen oh nine gold and six silver per person, and then Grims can just be in platinum, which I guess would be like one eighty platinum and no change. If you if you had that minute much platinum, yeah, you can. I do think it. between us, we probably do, yeah. Well, we, it is harder to make change here. We got 230 just, platinum from that thing. There you go. Just give 180 of it to Grim. Do you oh, have yeah. all the numbers, Seti? You got all the right numbers? Yep. Okay. 230 platinum, the... 5100 gold, 16,000 silver, and 4800 copper. Yeah. Divided by five. 1809 gold per person and six silver. All right. Well, with this that, this is a great calculator, by the way. Very nice. With that, um, you spend your time counting money out for everybody, getting things <laughs> portioned out. Seti. Uh, meanwhile, you are holding on to Orange Soul Trinket, which again just seems like this weird twisted piece of wood. Um, the way that it twists is make me. Hmm. Just make me an intelligence check. Straight intelligence. Okie dokie. Uh, eight. Eight. It's I'm not tired. giving you any real information when you're like you're looking at it. Um, it just again, it just looks like a piece of wood. You're wondering like, what does this piece of wood have to do with Orin whatsoever? Um, it's weird. It's dumb, but okay. Uh, that's all oh. you can glean without like dipping in, uh, as you go like, and you, you know, dip under the waters and begin to, to feel it out in the dream realm. It's there. It's the same as it was when the, um, Raven queen held it out. Just a piece of twisted metal that seems to just kind of shimmer a bit with light. And that's it. <laughs> <clears throat> you're right there babe sorry work messages the client just canceled a bunch of stuff <laughs> we're good okay uh go back just a little bit i don't go back there's no okay. there's no there's no redos uh, there's no reduce. No, I, you 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 don't get a whole lot bunch of information even in the dream realm for okay. For this. It doesn't seem to glean much of anything for you. I'll keep at it another time. Okay. Perhaps. Uh, are you just are you heading for bed to bed for the night after that? Oh, I thought that was bed for the night. 
I thought I was oh, doing okay, it. Oh, that's fine. Sure, yeah. But, oh, you're going you're gonna to try to sleep, like, you know, spend your entire time in your dream realm. So you actually take it into your dream realm, mm-hmm. uh, into your inner realm, and you're just kind of, like, poking at it for a while. You know, just, just kind of, like, trying to get an idea, like, does it give off any kind of energy or anything like that? Um, maybe an investigation check, if you're going to actually spend the whole night on it. Yeah, and I think also what I want to do is kind of just maybe just sit there with it in a space where any any vibes coming off of it if anything like comes into it's like a meditation where whatever's coming into my head is manifesting around me like i want to see if that has any kind of like oh i'm feeling like warm and sunny and you know yeah so this is this is going to be wisdom Um, if you're going to do that you're just going to it's just be straight wisdom oh um, no (laughs) i'd rather do investigation (laughs) Well, if, if you're just if you're just trusting your instincts to like just let it happen, it's just a wisdom roll. Perception. No, no, no. This is <laughs> this is straight. This is you're not using a skill. You are just letting the energy. Okay, but my wisdom sucks. Su- okay, well, sixteen. It's not so bad. Well, it's sixteen. You're focused for a moment, and like you know, you close your eyes, and around you, even when you close your eyes in this space, like you can still kind of see the dream stuff um in a sense and it doesn't truly disappear but it seems to you feel it seem to like as the night passes on at some point you seem to lose yourself and fall into a true meditative state small like bits of memory and thoughts that you were having the night before like seem to flood through you you do get some of that um and before you realize it when you open your eyes, remembering what you were doing, you look around and you notice things fading that seem to have been happening while you were unconscious. And what you see appears to be floating, hovering runes of some kind. They appear to be similar to orange runes, but somehow inherently different. They float in the air and it's almost as if it's a strange language of some sort. And it's all around you in a sort of dome of these sort of hovering blue lights of rune. They seem to be depicting things. And at times, it's almost like small bits of the equation, uh, equations that you were using to form a realm before, to form uh, your demiplane, seem to just be like clicking away within these. You can just see like equations popping up and disappearing all around you. It's a very strange sensation. Can I... Are these equations something that I can act upon? Is it just information or is it something like... As I said, it's disappearing as you open your eyes to it. Like you're aware that it's there and then it kind of just... You watch them sort of fade. Gotcha. So there's a hint. It's this strange sort of. You never ex- sort of seen anything quite like that before. I'm but yet it felt that. like. Like it like un- you couldn't like you, like you couldn't possibly argue with what was happening. It felt like nature itself, like the physics of the universe were just became visible for a moment. OK. I want to sit with that. I want to try to remember it. And when I get up in the morning, I'm going to try to write down what I remember. Yeah. So what does everybody else want to do? Well, I'm still going to contact Bala. Um, so as you message Bala, um, you're just using your seal? I guess so. Okay. Yeah, as you message Bala, there's, there's a moment. Um, has anybody messaged Bala during this trip? I think so. I think I've messaged her before. I think I have before. It's possible. She might have uh, been one of the people I 
spoke to about like fielding candidates. All right, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been enough time that I'm not sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that she's annoyed when she answers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, shiny lady. An acceptable moniker. How may I help you? Well, uh, we are looking for, we're growing or in a new body, as you probably know, so that we can, you know, do away with his gross one. <laughs> and um, I'm looking for a way to make his little baby muscles, not so little baby muscles. Um, and I was hoping to make a potion that used components from creatures that were compatible with his soul. Um, and I was wondering if you had such creatures that might be willing to donate those materials in a sustainable manner. Such as if, I don't know, if maybe if you had some, some holly funds that might be willing to give, oh gosh, I don't even know. What, what do they have that is, that, not a part that we have to remove, but something that might just fall off that they could give. Or, I don't know, maybe if you had like a Kirin that had like a scale that they could, that falls off or something, that we could try and use something Are like that. Are you telling me that you need a piece of a celestial creature? Yes, we're trying to grow his muscles, and we need creatures that are both strong and agile, so that we it can... It is always it. surprising to me how hard mortals must work to form a body. It is very strange true. to me that you never spoke to the Soul Forger or anything else, but it is like your so? journey. <laughs> it's name dropping on the call. I mean, if you have an easier way, is. I'm all ears, but... As it is, I cannot take such a thing without... No, only if they offer. Consent. And of course. in the amount of time it would take me to accomplish such a thing, you may very well have lost time there. Hmm... I will grant you a favor. I will allow you to travel there once to the actual celestial lands of Mount Celestia, where Holyfonts and Kirin seem to call their home more often. If you're able to find something there during that time, it will elapse for one night. That is the most that my power can allow me from here. Okay, that will work. And this will be in normal time stream. No, you'll be able to. It will cost one night within the time of your place. I'm using quite a considerable amount of ability for this, but. Oh, okay. It is acceptable. Oh, thank you. Remember while you are there that you are representing me. So. Yes, we will not hurt the animals. We will only ask nicely. Grim does not hurt animals. Only people. I will keep and you only, your word. Only, only crappy people do. Which is most people. But, you know. Goodbye, Grim. <laughs> Thanks, Al. <laughs> Goodbye, shiny lady. Well, that... Uh, you got that... It bit of information what would anybody else like to do me and you just spends the night being like i could carve it into a flute yeah or we must be like we're going on a stop. field trip guys or... don't know when yeah the way the wood is twisted it might make a good ocarina <laughs> as yeah, opposed he, to a flute <laughs> but he's just going through like imagine all these different things that he could like whittle it down to because it's a nice little piece of wood he's like a spoon everyone always needs a spoon No, a spork. All right. So, hey, Oren, what do you think about a spork soul trinket? Huh? Huh? Useful in many situations. Uh, I don't as want to pass it food. every time I want to eat a salad. 
But it's useful for, what is it, chicken soup for the soul? As it is. That is mid <laughs> evening. He's just like off in La La Land. <laughs> unless anybody else is meditating has anything... and going to sleep. All right. Uh, unless anybody else has anything else, I think we, we end the night. Um, and we continue with what you would like to do, honestly, for the rest of the week. Um, one of those nights, Graham, you have been prepared a portal, whichever night you choose. Um, so it's up to you how you want to handle that. With the exception of that, you guys still have five days left in this week to make progress on whatever it is you would like to do. Um, and during that time, you will all also gain a week's worth of um, training. Nice. For your time that you spent in the uh, Ziggurat. It's the only training I've done so far. <laughs> hey. So I'm definitely going to... Um... I mean, sooner the better. Is it just me, or can anybody who wants to go with me go with me? Uh, it depends. You know that it's going to happen through your um, in your dream, like a door will appear, and then you can choose to go through it. So you've got a dream. Seti will Shepherd bring everybody elsewhere. into Grimm's dreams, and we'll just wait for a door to. Open. Sure. <laughs> um. So. When do you guys want to do that? It just it doesn't really matter, I guess, specifically if you guys just want to go straight there. Um, so so during one of the nights this week, um, Seti gets everybody together. You guys are all in your dreams, having your own thing. And then Seti will just appear in a mirror or just standing behind you suddenly. And she'll be like, it's time and grab you <laughs> and start dragging you out of your dream through what appears to be whenever you guys do it space. Um, and you For almost like have stream specifically because I feel like we have a prank war going on off stream that like we never talk about. But when I yoink Mitnir from his dream space, I want to like whatever, whatever the fuck he's dreaming about, right? I just want to like come up out of the floor and like grab his ankle and yank him into like a black void. Yeah, so <laughs> like yeah, the you're monster just sitting under there. your bed got you. You're just sitting there looking at the wood that is Orin's soul trinket, and you're just like, oh, I gotta carve it. And, and then you're like, I'm gonna do it. And you take the knife, and you're like, nobody's here. And then suddenly a, a hand comes out and grabs you right as you're about to cut. And you're like, oh, oh, oh I wasn't. And then straight through the ground. It's like, you saw nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they caught you red-handed and pulled you straight under. Um... You get into Grimm's dream and it's just everything. It's just mushrooms everywhere. Just <laughs> they're like, we're singing our song. It's the same song that you were that you heard, like from the Lurkwood before you ever came mm -hmm. to Seelandor, just singing. And yeah. like all the mushrooms are just like dancing around. And it's cheery, but also disturbing. That sounds sure. about right. Yep, that tracks. Um, I. I, I, what, 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 I don't know what anybody else is particularly dreaming about. I don't I want to force it on anybody. But as you all arrive there and you see all the dancing and singing, uh, there's like you, uh, Grim, are just like sitting there doing whatever it is you would be doing in such a situation when all the rest of your fi your friends just show up in your dream uh, with all these dancing, singing mushrooms. Yeah, he's probably just gardening or something. Like he's just tending to his mushrooms. Yeah. So he's like, let me down, you son of a bitch. As you pick one up and just put it to be quiet. Good boy. boy. <laughs> Big good boy. Put, it, put it into a pot. <laughs> yeah. I'm not fully bitch. grown yet. <laughs> Cover it in dirt. <laughs> You're not my real dad. <laughs> yeah, you know my real dad. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so there's a lot of that going on and then and then everybody shows up. Big old boy, Mikey. Now play D&D. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there. Hi, okay. we're here. We're waiting for... Is there a door? Did we miss it? There oh, should yeah. be a door. There's been a door there. Like, I don't know how many, how oh, many nights right. it's okay. been. There's been a door there this whole time. I'm assuming it's just this next night, right? Or whatever. If yeah. you want, sure. Yeah, why not? 
That's just a Man, door. I'm just, let's just assume it's a door on one of my trees, right? Like, yeah, sure. Oh, that door. Okay, yeah. Everybody Whatever Grim imagines the door to Elysium looks like. <laughs> That's actually the door to the Elysium. It's the door to Celestia. Oh, Celestia, sorry. Oh, sorry, because like, she's in charge of Elysium. This, this is Celestia. Okay. So as you step through that door, there is a wash of celestial energy, something you guys may never have experienced before. Um, you, I mean, you might have felt like a sense of this um, whenever you've gone to the planes before in through that specific sort of mirror within the Higher Realm Academy. But you've never actually been to a celestial place except for Orin, uh, who felt pretty OK when he was there. Grim's gonna sneeze. Oh, how funny! <laughs> um, while you are there, by the way, uh, while you were there, you were all blessed. Oh. You have the effects of the bless spell the entire time that you are there, as this celestial energy washes over you. As you begin. Looking about, you see a strange sort of starlight all about you, sparkling and glittering. You find yourself on shoreline. You see that there are several disembodied souls that are just appearing as wisps that seem to be almost forming a line going into a small um, building where they seem to be either be getting sorted or, or like spoken to in some way. They seem to be new arrivals on the plane that have come here the traditional way. Um. The you do see way. the involuntary way. Uh, <laughs> you see that there are a strange number of creatures that are walking by, particularly at one point, you notice a giraffe walk by with legs that are at least very Salvador Dali like um, 10 to 20 feet long legs, just. Just big, huge knocking sections, just walking by like it's on stilts. And as it does, it goes, good day. It moves on. Um, there appears to be, however, you notice a sort of red furred um, humanoid dog creature. Uh, it's carrying a sword. It's incredibly muscular, um, and it seems to just have a, a collar around its neck and bracers around its wrist. And as it sees you, it goes, new arrivals. Is there some way that I may assist you? Uh, you can see like its teeth kind of almost bare for a second and then it kind of like <laughs> wipes it away like it didn't mean to, to snarl at you. Just we are visiting. I have a yep. quick question. Or visiting. Are my wings out like they were in Elysium? Mm hmm. Oh, they are? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Noise. Yeah, you're here. Your wings are out. Okay. Just wanted to check. <laughs> Just, uh, how may I help you? Uh, we are here to uh, talk to some creatures and see if they can help us. Uh, is there some specific way I might assist you in that? Uh, please be careful not to harm anything here and leave the souls to their procession. Oh, yes, of course. we are not going to harm anything, no. Uh, we were just going to ask um, some of the the local creatures if they might help us in you know we weren't going to do anything just going to ask if they might help us with uh what were they going to give us if they well if they could give us some things we aren't going to force them just he, he just holds up a do. finger like a little clawed <laughs> finger and you can you can see that there's like a little like toe bean on the on the hand like it's 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 got little beans on it and he's like hold hold on and then he gestures and like a bit of light comes off of his hand and as it does you guys watch little sigils rise above your head. Ah, uh, so you have been allowed here by the great goddess of the shaft. Chontir has given you passage here. Very well. As it is, please behave yourselves in the celestial lands. Is there a particular level you need to ascend to during your visit or deity you must speak with? Um, Here on was... the Silver Shores, you might speak to many denizens. Many who would call to you. And he looks over to 
to Mitnir. He says, Ah, uh, certainly you could find someone of interest here. Well, I don't your... think we want to talk to his little dragon daddy, necessarily. But, I uh, mean, that would be cool. Uh, I don't think Oren wants to be part dragon, does he? He reacts for a second. He says, I've actually heard rumors that Bahamut's lair is actually in the Silver Shores. The first lair. I mean, if you guys want to go talk to a dragon, we can. Do you know I mean, where the... the uh, not trying to kill us. Do you know where the Kirin are located? Or the Holyfans? Well, they go all about, really. Oh. Really, really quick. Just a quick sidestep. Can I try to send a message to the Holyfant that Kira and I met in the... You are on the same plane of existence, so you certainly can. Yeah, just be like... Hello, are you here? Did you make it home? It's Seti. We're here. I'd love to see you. And then just see if it gets back to me. Uh, there's a moment you hear. <laughs> Hi. <Ooh. laughs> I forgot that I, don't, I can't speak with animals. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Our I don't think friends that here. they speak like animal. I think they have their own language. I can't speak celestial can't speak. or holyphant or whatever. Um, <laughs> can you? Can you come to? Do you know where we are? Could you come to us? Are you are you good at that stuff? Do I need to? That sounded like a no. This isn't actually how the message spell works, but we're gonna let it happen. <laughs> no, I wish. Do any of you guys speak Celestial? Yeah, or does? Okay, or does? Like, wings? What? <laughs> <laughs> I I sent one message. Then. The thing I just said will be the second message, but uh, it'll be like. Can you come to us? Do you know where we are? You can just tell them where you are, too. We're... We're on the beach? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're at the place that we're at. <laughs> I can do that. Can they understand no? us? Uh, there's a moment in the air. And you like... I, I can cast speak with animals. You can't for her message spell. Well, it doesn't work about animals either. Yeah. I have a feature that allows me to understand all I have languages. universal speech. Fuck. Can I use universal speech to understand what was just said to me? <laughs> Cause I'll be there soon. Just wait for me. Okay, he's so, he'll be here soon. Okay, so the Holly Font is sorted. The, a friend of ours is coming to see us, and we can talk Great. when he gets here. Yes, I was originally right. thinking... Oh, that's even better. Let me get you a spot. Uh, sorry, let me get my supervisor. These souls can get out of here. Really? I'm still alive. Well, I'm sorry. It's okay. You're doing a really good job, big scary dog. Yeah, so he turns around, and then you watch as a massive bear... Like, bipedal bear just walks out and goes, Fine, I'll watch them <laughs> sit down in a line. And he's just kind of like this big rally bear. And you can see that he's got, like, much fancier adornments than the other kind of product. He's like, well, <clears throat> I'm with you guys then. <clears throat> and you see as he starts dragging a massive scimitar behind him. It's like he doesn't have a place to carry it, so he just drags it along the sand, and it's just like cutting like a little trough through the sand. He goes, so <clears throat> your friend, I'm not sure where he might be, but if he's on a different layer of the celestial lands, it would take a little while to get here. Is there anything I can offer you in the interim? He's being incredibly nice, but like the way that he talks and he keeps kind of snarling at you makes it mm -hmm. seem like like it's it's just this weird juxtapose i am curious and this is a i don't know who here would know but one thing i would like to find out if we can is if well Viramis had a son orin and i'm wondering if orin had a favorite place here somewhere or Viramis. Uh, Viramis. You're asking, you're asking the, the hound. This was when you, are you mentioning it out loud. If you mention it out loud, 
He goes, yes. uh, that must have been before my time. This, this was a very long time ago, so I would... I... Uh, but a young climber. Of course. I've only been doing it for 200 years. Oh, you're like a baby, baby. I've made I progress. Absolutely. I think our fr our friend here climbed for like 400 years. And... He looks at... You point to the bird, he's like, <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> Strange. But You're she... very alive for one who has climbed the celestial mountains. Well, she made a, a bargain to help uh, with a very important project in the world. And, and had to you up. speak for her always? No. She's just very sleepy right now. <laughs> I, I'm here. I can speak. Sorry, my mouth runs. I just tell him my services were required in other means. Uh, interesting. I can see your light. It is bright. Thank you. Now, I don't know. I mean, this is probably way off base, but I, I don't think you'd be allowed, Ropsy, but perhaps I could go see... I mean, Tayang has to be here somewhere, right? No? This isn't the right... <laughs> or is that way off base? Okay. Not the right place. Not the right place. <laughs> Never mind. We're only got one day here, guys. How far Probably away is big the, uh, the dragon's place around here? Give me a second to look at my map. <laughs> he pulls out the tourist guide map. You know, like, you are. Oh, no, my eye is burning. Ah, my eye is burning. Oh no! It's like Hollywood homes in L.A., but it's Celestials and <laughs> Celestia. I'll just Soul arrival is here. Side. You are here. <laughs> Uh, it's, it shouldn't be far. I mean, it's, well, hold up. I can look up Bahamut's palace. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be far from here. I would say maybe two hours walked that way. Sorry, I can't give you better directions. There is no magnetism here. Usually we just say ascend such and such and then head such and such direction. Well, if we have time after that, we should maybe stop by there. I agree. I think this oh, is yeah. an opportunity no. that uh, should be seized if we can. Responsibly. Well, I mean, whatever you want to do. Actually, I, I'm wrong. <laughs> After all that, I just re kept reading. I was like, ah. <laughs> uh, technically, the entrance of it could be here, but the part where he would be lasting would probably be on the second layer. His his place is huge. The Palace of Bahamut is like a first and second layer place. We can still go knock on the door. Um, uh, I could try sending a message if you want. Be like, I, technically, hey, the best I'm way to find friend. it would be. <laughs> Yeah. What was this? Oh, they moved to the Platinum Heaven, too? This place has moved around a lot. All right, sorry. It says, yeah. You should be able to find the entrance. Anyways, you guys want tea or some shit? He doesn't say shit. <laughs> what was the... Uh... 
uh, the good place. They replaced shit with shirt. some shirt. Yeah. Sure. There you go. Yeah. Well, you guys, are, you guys want to just wait for the Holly Font to arrive? It's going to be played by Nicole Byer. Um, I guess we just wait. I'm still, I'm totally fine with sending Bob a message, though. If uh, I'm the, you just want to send a message to a god. I mean, why not? I'm mad. Well, we're here. We're done, done it at least twice today. I, <laughs> I can't hear inside her head all the time. Technically, I used the seal, so it's not. You know. Like he literally, he just called. <laughs> like I got it earlier. <laughs> I used to call me on my cell phone. I mean, maybe they could help in this situation too. So why not? All right, I'll send the message to Bahamut. Okay, you send a message to Bahamut. What does it say? Hi, I'm Mitnir's friend. We're here. In Celestia, if you'd like to meet in person, let us know we're at whatever the place is called where we're at. Silver Shore. <laughs> I thought he's at the Silver Shore. Are we at the Silver Shore? We are at the Silver Shore. We're at the Silver Shore. Okay. He's probably somewhere also anyway, near the Anyway, we're Silver at the Silver Shore. Uh, okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> you send this message, and no sooner have you done that when you hear, I am aware. Oh, that makes sense. And he then knows. he says, Once you are all gathered, I will summon you here. We're going to be summoned once we have all gathered. I'm assuming gathered he knows what? there's a hall. I th well, I, th I assume he knows there's a holly font coming to meet us. <laughs> Unless we're missing. Yeah, if you think something. if you think a god doesn't know when you show up on their plane, <laughs> you cracked. <laughs> he's been watching you since you showed up. I don't know. Maybe he's too busy to notice. Who's on my doorstep? <laughs> Uh, so you guys wait for maybe about an hour and then you see something zipping around through the sky. At this point, you might have been playing. So they open her for arms now. for a hug. <laughs> we might have been playing with our deck. We're just playing. We're just playing go fish at this point. <laughs> uh, do you guys do you guys play with the cards at all? Tic-tac-toe in the dirt. Yeah, I mean, not like no drawing, the card, but just kind of like. Inspecting, turning them over, know, inspecting them. Yeah. As you inspect the face of the cards, you you will notice they do not show anything, but what appears to be sort of starlight. And you see the back of the card, and you can clearly see what is the face, but until you use it, you cannot see what is in the cards. Ooh. I mean, you just displays all. See, they're all the same. There's one um, card in this deck. As he does display the cards like that, um, yeah, they, they appear to have like the stars across them, but you notice that the stars are continuous across the card faces. So it appears oh. that they are. No matter how you move them around, it's like looking at shaper items, <laughs> no matter how you move them around. <laughs> They're just like a window into like one solid night sky. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah. Keep keep shuffling them. That's really cool. Yeah, you keep shuffling them, and it just it's just the sky. Start, it's like starts putting at the them sky. down on the ground and just like overlaps them, so it just makes like this big window. Ooh. Well, what do we yeah, tell? You... Let's let's tell Mitnir's fortune. Does anybody know how to tell fortunes? I don't know. Usually let's figure like it out. There's like a little guidebook that tells you what the cards mean. <laughs> I can tell fortunes. Big muscular, big muscular hound archon looks at you like, not really my thing much anymore, but I was into astrology before I realized that the stars were mostly dead corpses of gods. Yeah, that's pretty weird, huh? Like, when you really think about it. Still, go for it, man. Does that make you a historian? 
no. <laughs> I think it mostly oh. makes me a Q guard. I think you should do it. <laughs> I said, tell Mittner's fortune. Go for it. If you if you'd like to. Well, I can tell your fortune if you so desire. I, mean, I think you wouldn't have spoken up if you didn't want to do it. How how does it work? What do I have to do? It's pretty simple. You just sit here, and then you roll a d forty two. That's not true at all. I gotta I gotta get to uh uh, uh yeah it is it is technically you could do that but uh where's my I definitely have. Uh, where's where did I did I not tell me I saved it? Or you don't have to save it, right? If it's a Google Doc, you should. Yeah. Where the hell did I put it though? <laughs> you can you can search the document if you can remember one of the card's names and spelled it. Did correctly. I put it at the bottom of the grab bag? Maybe. Oh yeah, I put it at the bottom of the grab bag. That's why. Okay. Uh, yeah, you just roll d42 if you can using. You'd have to use um, roll 20. Roll 20. Uh, let's see. I mean, you, the only other way to do it would be like roll a d100, and then if you roll the basic version and then the doubled version, and then we exclude everything above 84. All right. How do I do a custom die roll in here? Slash just roll, slash roll number. You just roll d. Yeah. Gotcha. Forty-two. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. As as you do that, he pulls a card and he says, "You, oh, your fate is so short-sighted." And he pulls the temple card. You will meet a deity soon that is bound <laughs> to aid you. <laughs> Are you out Look, of practice? You might be out of practice. Look, it's not just that. It's it's the fact of the matter is is that the cards tell the truth. And <laughs> that is the truth, but they're being real snarky today. <laughs> I, <laughs> that, no, that makes sense. Mitnir doesn't tend to look too far into the future. But I, I, Mostly, like, when the next meal might be. All right, oh, all it, right, here. Wait, do me, get a do meal? Grins. Is this are we sleeping? Do Grims. Grims will be much less obvious, I'm sure. Enough I believe it was the temple spell. <laughs> That's so funny. Here, do do Grims. Grims is much. Grim is much less interesting. You'll have a much, much less obvious one. I mean, you're just like mumbling sure. over, like I'm not sure. Thirty thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Fair enough. Hmm. He pulls the key card. Interesting. The key seems to follow you. You soon find something that you need. Something that will help unlock the path. Could be a weapon or an item of great power. Or could be an actual key. But it is bound in your short future. In fact, the card was inverted. So perhaps you already have it and you just don't know it's the key that you need. We did literally find the key last night. Hey, maybe that's it. <laughs> Look, I hope it's not, because that would be really boring. <laughs> Look, I have been climbing for 200 years, and it's not exactly like we fortune tell much up here. It's a guilty pleasure from my mortal days. No, I'm just hoping that it's, I'm just hoping that it, that it's more exciting. I'm not saying that you're doing a bad job. I'm just hoping she's wrong. You're hoping well, it's a new key that you get soon instead of an old key that you already got. Let's look at your love life next. <laughs> well, that's gonna, you're gonna drop nothing. He says, flames, weird. <laughs> <laughs> There's it's nothing on that you like a fortune red? <laughs> sure, roll a D42. If mine came up flames, 42. that would mean something. Well, very you, did, you didn't do a D42, you just you, did you, a 42. You, you rolled uh. a 42? No, she's, she no rolled, I, I didn't roll. 42. 42. Yeah. Slash yeah. so roll D42. D42. Yeah, I got the D. D. 24. 24. Pulls the throne card. Sets Ooh. it down in front uh -oh. of you. Mm. Perhaps you're going to be raised to a high station. 
some sort of leader or ruler of some kind. Seems to be what it depicts. Oh, you're in Grim. You're going to be rolling with Grim soon. You seem bound for a high station. Important. It's hard to deny that. That's a good fortune. Yep. I I see it. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't even have to give up your shadow for that, like Grim did. <laughs> I know. Why did we bother? That that one was useless. Orin, are you going to go? Nope. You don't want. Have you been doing deals with Nilbogs? Yes. Unfortunately. Uh. Uh. Yeah, that'll happen. I thought it would be more. Yeah, hey, I got the throne. She's the one that got ruined. It's fine. I Just be careful if you start seeing your friends show up and they do have a shadow and you're not sure why they suddenly have a shadow. If a fortune has not notably come to pass, it may be a doppelganger. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you. That's I mean, okay. We're used to so fake cities rolling around. It's fine. If I haven't been completely ruined and my shadow comes back, it's a fake. It's probably another vampire, baby. I'd be surprised. Sure. So if we see a SETI show up with a shadow, I we'll anyway stab it again. I want to As try. You guys... <laughs> oh, you're gonna do it too. Okay. Please be Look, ruined. I'm hoping for. Ruined. I'm hoping for something better. Than you guys that. are trying to find like you guys are finding out cards that are in the deck, and I'm sure one of you is writing down the cards that are in the deck so far. I wasn't yeah. even doing that. Oh, I got a twenty-three. Got... You guys are right around that twenty area, aren't you? Uh, <clears throat> the path. It's a card that you've never heard or seen before. Hmm. You walk a thorny path, but the way is before you. You will receive guidance soon that will help you along it, if you so desire. But a most important... Hmm. You'll be hastened along. Oh. A good thing or a bad thing? I do not know. Well, certainly something to think about. Thank you. Well, as it is, look, your friend's coming. <laughs> do you guys hear the flapping of wings that almost sounds like a hummingbird as the ears of the holly font come in? My and arms are out for a hug. <laughs> <laughs> you guys hear the sound of his trumpet as he comes flying in and just breaks the sound barrier at the same time unfortunately I think universal speech only lasts for an hour so if we had to wait an hour it's gone now <laughs> yeah it was an hour uh, my so as he effective all the time. I can speak with animals so so as he comes spring it in take it from me. still not an animal as he comes <laughs> flying in <laughs> and just <laughs> you hear hello Hello, hello, hi, hi, it's been so long, hi, hi, hello, hello, hi, 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 is what you hear. <laughs> is what you guys hear. <laughs> and then he kind of just says, and he goes, <laughs> he goes, where's the good stuff? <laughs> I want to try, I'll try Mr. to. Mr. Translator. I'm going to try to make some stuff out of the bag of bounty. Guidance, please. Mm hmm. Uh, Remember, you have less too, if that counts. Oh, that's right. It's, uh, it's a double check. Less is a D4 as well. Uh, we're making a aristocratic. Oh, didn't need anything. It's an aristocratic, the same good shit I did last time. He's <laughs> like, hey, yes. As he starts. <laughs> nom, 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 Ask it if it oh. knows any Kirins. I will ask him that. Oh, you can ask him that. He, like he, he understands you guys. Like you, you don't have. Oh to yeah, say, he can understand us. Him. We just can't understand him. That's right. Yeah. No, oh, I can understand him. You guys can't. <laughs> yep. We're uh, trying to this... help our buddy Oren out, and we don't. We're trying to we're trying to build him a new body. <laughs> Says. Why do you need to help him? He looks fine. <laughs> well, we're growing him a new body, and he has the body has muscles, but we need to make those muscles stronger and like quicker. 
So goes, we know that you're really quick. And he just says, gross. Also, yeah, it's gross, I know. But we also need to make them strong. So we were wondering, you know, because we know you're really quick. Um, yeah. And and we know that Kirins are pretty strong, you know, and they're pretty quick too. And so we're wondering if maybe, you know, they might have something that they might be able to give us that we could use to possibly help make his muscles stronger. Totally volunteer basis. Totally. Yeah, no, we're not going to like be mean, but like just if they have anything that they might be nice it's... enough to give us. It's or if you might be. Last time. Yeah, we're not asking for the same thing again. This is like he just like goes on. He says, says, I know a couple of Kirins, but we're not really on good terms right now. We recently had a little bit of a dispute over a very good pool of eternal youth that was very (laughs) tasty water. (laughs) And he just keeps rambling, rambling, rambling. And as he is rambling, you guys feel a sudden breeze. And the next thing you know, instead of the surroundings that you were in, the Hound Archon gone. The Holyfont, however, travels with you as you find yourself whisked away in a sudden torrent of air. And as you come back, your vision like spins back to you. You're almost blinded by the sheer sparkliness of where you are. The walls themselves seem to be made out of encrusted gemstone, piles of platinum, silver and gold glittering in all directions. You appear to be in a hall shaped very similarly to Mitnir's inner realm. However, you can see the ends of this hall, whereas there are significantly more pillars and no statues. But there is a path that sort of leads towards the center where in the distance you can see sort of lounging on a pile of what appears to be just like gemstones and raw crystal is a massive. And when I say massive, You in your inner realm had underestimated how enormous this creature truly is. It could hold all of you at the tip of its claw. One scale is enough for you to arrive as though it was a magic carpet. This massive entity that is ahead of you in the distance goes... Hello. And as it speaks, you feel your soul tremor. I am the Platinum Dragon Bahamut. Welcome to my palace. And welcome home. Thank you for your hospitality and gives kind of like a little bow type thing. Mm. But first, we need to eat. And then you see he just kind of taps his claw on the ground, which shakes the temple. And as he does, like a bunch of people start coming in from the wings, um, just carrying a banquet of food. He says, this will be my first meal with new friends and family. And we're going to go ahead and take our break. So get some food if you need it. (laughs) <laughs> get, get some water get get whatever you need as you banquet with a god back in five and we are back awesome so you guys sit down and have a well you don't even have to sit down but there is a long long haul you're probably about a football or field field or two away from the dragon at this point but that feels <laughs> close enough we're so far away, Sati's like, I still can't cover him up with my thumb. Yeah. Um, like, well, like, I and this they is brought a... food out for him. What do we eat? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's like massive amounts of food, and it's like all the way from where he is to like where you guys are. So he says, imbibe, enjoy, consume. Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is yes. quite the spread. Do we have golden apples here? <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, only one golden apple can be consumed per mortal. <laughs> Many of the gods cover them for the flavor and does increase our divinity just a small bit. 
But you mortals, it would probably cause many problems. Yes, if I normally were coming here, I would have saved my 14,000 gold. (laughs) Well, I haven't had one. Fair enough. You haven't. I do not have any on hand. It is difficult to get them. Um, But if you don't mind facing another dragon, you should be able to get them from a garden in which they grow. The dragon's name is Laden. Is Laden as uh, friendly as you are? I would say Laden is a singular being. He protects his garden. And if you are not a threat to his garden, then he is amicable. However, if you're coming to steal the greatest fruit from his garden, well... Fair enough. I certainly wouldn't steal it. I was mostly joking when I suggested it. (laughs) Still, information is nice to have. However, the apples I do have here are quite nice. Try them. They are always perfectly ripe. Mm. That's hard with apples. Not here. (laughs) Well, it has been some time since I've had company coming here just to visit. Or is there a purpose for your visit? Well... Looking for help from Celestials? Kind of looks at the group like, that, right? Right? That's why we're here? Yep. So quick little recap Grab of the them. situation and what we're looking for. Maybe also mention my question about if Virmus's son, Orin, had any hangout spots, if anybody would know. Mm. Virmus is a name I do remember. He smells you. Like, you, you know, like, and you can see, like, he re- brings his head down, and it's like, it's almost like a planet's coming towards you. It's so, like, mm-hmm. horrifying when he does it. But he just, his head does fit down the center of this, like, corridor, and, like, he, like, reaches all the way across, like, the two football fields and just kind of sniffs near you. And as it does, it picks up some of the food, just, like, picks up for a second and then sets back down. And he goes, hmm, you smell of the goat. So you're the one that has been causing Mitnir to lose sleep at times. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I think somewhere behind that wall of... He pauses for a moment, he says, never mind. I think he truly cares. <laughs> I mean, he's just got, like, an uh, apple in his mouth, like, what I miss? <laughs> As it is. What aid could I provide for you? Obviously, I can sense your meaning, but... What specifically could I help with in this matter? Well, any materials we could use to get the muscle and dexterity we want for Oren's new form. We were talking with our friend Holly here about maybe a volunteering uh, sample of DNA, I guess, I suppose. Interesting. But we're also open and to And I will help ideas. you in the order of your requests. First of all, I do remember Viramis and when he was cast out. I feel sorrow for him. There was no reason to be treated so harshly just to care for one's son. But now that I look upon the body, I understand. We wish he knew what we wish we knew what he was hoping to accomplish. But as it is, it's dangerous to leave it un unaddressed. Understandable. Well, I suppose, based on what I can sense from you, you've already found the most useful thing in determining what is necessary for him. He 
he gestures and a little bit with just his head and you watch it's like you can feel something tugging in your pocket. Soul trinket. Soul trinket just comes kind of like pulsing out. He says, you've spoken to the what are they calling her now? The dutiful daughter. <clears throat> yes, that part is sorted. Yeah. I understand your method here. Strange choice, but a path that might prove successful. I certainly hope so. Certainly put enough work into it. I will say, though, as your body is capable of adapting to this, there is nothing celestial about that trinket. Hmm. Does it matter? Well, For him, I sense not. He seems quite accepting of everything, really. I don't think there is a single source of power he couldn't become one with. Do you have any idea why that is? I believe only he can awaken that truth. Although, if you wish, and he gestures toward, like, he can tell he's speaking with to you. Or, I can show you the truth. I think that could be helpful. Very well. Release it from your hand, child. And as you let go of the soul trinket, it hovers into the air for a moment, and then he kind of softly breathes. Not like a breath attack or anything like that, just a bit of essence comes from his nostrils and begins to coalesce around it. And as it does, you watch as it pulses, and then suddenly all of the area around you begins to warble, just sort of get weird. Sound begins to echo from places where it shouldn't be. And the area around you fades away. Instead, you find yourself in a very strange place. You look, all of you get the sense that you're kneeling. You raise your head just as the lady passes by. Her long, flowing robes, barely kissing the ground. The blades that wreathe her head in all directions, the golden mask covering her face. You love her and you adore her. It is always your job to do what she wishes. You look at one another and you see flowing hair rising up above your head. Horns twisting off in goat-like shapes. And yet, something is different. The part of you that is still you, that senses you, as you all really truly are, recognizes the essence of Northot, but the twisted strangeness of it has been removed. The faces are almost completely humanoid. They look up as the lady passes by. And rather than speaking with thought, you see strange glowing blue runes appear in front of them. The lady nods and wordlessly floats by. The vision collapses back in. As she comes upon the one that is only Orin, and she looks down and says, Welcome. And then the vision fades. An interesting tale. So that is your story. Oh, poor soul. That actually happened? 
soul trinket takes a small memory. A memory from some point in your life that gave you such meaning that you knew who you were truly. And this part is so far gone and removed from the soul that you truly are that you have no idea what who you are anymore. You're not wrong. I'm Go sorry ahead. to tell you this, but Viramus is not as kind to you or his son as I would have assumed. He's now waiting for you to speak. Sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> Perhaps he's going to stay silent, but just wrap her arm around Oren. Uh, I was just going to say, I don't have any memory of my life before this. You, I'm sorry to say, have been lied to. A lot. You are a creature that has been lost since Seelandor began. And I fear that the soul that you are is that last little bit of what makes up every single incarnation of Northor. You are the poor creature that they are twisted from. I always wondered why since two souls in your body and why the light was constantly silent. Well, You are not Virims' son, child. You are Virims' son's prisoner. Sorry. Yeah. Mitnir, you watch as your shadow comes back. <laughs> Double game, you get him! Yeah. <laughs> Take the shadow. Do I get like that a warm feeling when it reattaches? You know. Oh, yeah, because we did feel cold. Orin's gonna punch Mitnir in the face real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Just a little. You attempt to dodge it. Side side punch. <laughs> No, I was too much a sucker punch. I, he wouldn't be expecting it. Yeah, just, 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 just like, the face. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> I'm what sorry. you truly are is a creature, one that was malformed many, many centuries ago, and somehow Viramis brought your soul back from the corruption of the forum. He reformed you and used the soul of his son to protect you. I think it could have been a mistake. He could have attempted to resurrect his son and failed. All I know is that that soul is also present, but it is not what speaks. It is not Orin, as you know him. Well, this whole time we thought we'd been talking to the son's soul. And we've actually been talking to Northots. So, who is the lady? Was that the Star Mother? Sorry. There are not many things that I do not know. But it seems that she has been erased from being known. Might be the Star Mother. I feel pockets of her information are missing from my knowledge of all that has been since I have been. And I have been since nearly the beginning. Well. Since the time of Io split, when me and Tiamat became separate entities. I have known many things. And yet I do not know her. The Star Mother was broken into many, many pieces. 
so it's possible that if this is if that was her that that could explain why no one knows her unfortunately to be honest with you i do not know of this star mother i intend to stay in the light yes i don't blame you is not that of the farm i have but a I piece of her inside me if you wanted to you know dig around he looks at you for a second and his eyes flash you feel immense pain oh and then suddenly it <laughs> stops and he goes oh, i'm sorry for that but it is a different entity i thank you for that you take 60 points of damage radiant oh, that was <laughs> But not the star mother. Sorry. Well, that's not Using her. my celestial sight can often burn those of abyssal influence. That's probably, okay. probably coughed up a good berry. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, at least we know it's not her. That's good to know. Yeah. We'll enumerate on this. And I will see what I can find out and see if any entities do remember her because her presence felt familiar and I will say this whatever she is I would hesitate to fight her myself that is how much power I felt in her presence even as a memory right so be careful now he's speaking specifically to Midnir. Whereas you carry much of the strength that I have, and even strength that I do not. You dabble in something beyond even me. Yeah, it seems to be beyond a lot of... There is one other thing we've been told that we need to be recognized by someone greater than us and be titled champion for these things is there any way that i could earn such a privilege or be worthy of that he sort of like shifts <laughs> i could always name you my own champion your mother was for centuries but it would not help in the means that you seek. The champions of the council would have many deities channeling from a whole plane with a power. I cannot choose that for you myself. However, I do sense that there are many that are already considering you. There is no way that they are ignorant that you carry my blood. And the might of which is beyond most gods, worshipped or not. There are very few that could stand up to my might, so they know. What is within you is... <laughs> they would be a fool. But since your primary... Capacity is that of strength. I would recommend not seeking the approvals of the Celestials. They might see you as lacking in areas of... I want to call it snootiness. <laughs> and he laughs, it kind of shakes the room. But as it is. Perhaps you might seek the approval of Broca. Is that his name? I forget. I try to stay in the light, as I said. But Acheron might be your calling. A plane of infinite battle. And maybe we'll just do like a little, you know, head bow, like thank you in response. You know, That's where back. Buddy went. She'll remind so me. Buddy you. went. Eating everyone down there, probably. Yeah. Well, 
Eat Go down there, levels. ride the buddy. So you guys notice the holly font has been chowing down this whole time. <laughs> the whole banquet's gone. <laughs> like you see, like the holly font is like just sliding across the floor table. It's not even really a table. It's just like a s- section. And he's just like sliding across the floor, just like nom, 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 like pac manning the food in. Uh, just picture the... Kirby, but through the trunk. <laughs> yeah. Sucking it all in. Well, the, no, he's, he, the, he takes the trunk the and then and then just scoops <laughs> yeah. it into his mouth. This one is eating it. with every fiber of his being. And he's just rolling around in some of it, and he's like, um, like he's just like, <laughs> and you can hear him speaking, uh, or and he's just like, dear God, this is heaven, literally <laughs> heaven, literally, 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 literally heaven. Yeah, this little guy says that he's like he knows some Kieran, but he's not on like the best terms with them. Do you know if you could like maybe put in a good word for us to help with Orin? Oh, We're right. No other us. thing. You required strength. Is yes, the breath, strength. Is the breath <laughs> that Midnia provides not enough to strengthen you? I mean, it probably would be. But we were hoping to organically strengthen them and then, you know, seal it off with the breath. The breath it helps. Hit or miss. It doesn't always work. But it doesn't always, you know. Reliable. It is something that definitely came from your celestial side. Your strength, that is. Your nimbleness. That came from Orin. The child of Venomous. Whatever you truly are, was no such thing. I would say, probably the easiest way to do this. Hmm. You see, there's a moment, and he just kind of like shifts and begins to like slowly. Uh, like lumber up his shoulder. It seems like he doesn't move very often. And he's like, enjoy your meal. I shall return. And he kind of like slowly slinks out of the room to like, you can see that like you couldn't really tell, but the alcoves like to the left and right of him were sort of like fall off into the distance. And he kind of just disappears. And you can hear the whole place shake. And then suddenly which is like a torrent of air just starts flying from the area where he disappeared to and just starts like blowing out candles and shit just starts falling over. And then you hear the sounds of wings beating in the distance. Well, there he goes. <laughs> Gotta run to the store real quick. Holy shit, got, y'all. This, I've heard this story before. I think he's going to get milk. <laughs> He's not coming back. <laughs> um. Sorry, Mittner. It's okay. He's not my real dad. <laughs> <laughs> are we okay? Is everyone okay? Orlin, are you okay? I like, haven't been okay in a while. That's yeah, a I mean, I mean. I mean, Vermis isn't your dad. That only sounds like good news. I mean, I, I... surely it's complicated. You thought that your dad, like, desecrated your corpse and turned you into, like, some weird monstrosity. Now you're just, like, some, like, magical spirit that, like, got brought back from the dead and uncorrupted. So, like, you went from, like, messed up to less messed up, rather than, like, turned into a monster. So, like, that's better than the situation you were in. <laughs> from the interpretation that I'm able to glean, I think I understand what your runes do now. Um... I think they keep the true Northart out. And, of course, that's what they always did, but I, I think they allow your soul to be separate from it. And it gives you that that sense of who you are. You're, you're something that should not exist. Honestly, it's incredible. And I think he was trying to teach you morals. And I think that's prophecy's purpose too, is just to make you good. 
I mean, I always thought it was maybe a nature versus nurture sort of situation where they were trying to, but I thought that's because they didn't want nor thought to corrupt the soul of the sun while they were sharing a vehicle, but they were actually trying to turn an evil think... baby good. Well, I wouldn't I, go that far. I think far, in, but... in a greater sense, I think so, but I don't think Venomous knew what, what the avatars of Northart are. I think he assumed I can take a piece of Northart, I can put my soul, my son's soul in it, and then if it's reabsorbed, he can, as part of that hive mind, make it good, give it conscience. A, a conscience that maybe is enough to make it hesitate. A foolish plan, honestly, but... It sounds like he accidented his way into something good. You may be right. It so you think been... the goal is to let me change into whatever I would become without the runes and connect to the rest of them? I mean, we had floated that possibility before. If you're... I think if we separate you from that body, you're going to be what you were before you got corrupted. It's kind of what it seems like. Certainly in essence. In body, he would still be... Yeah, you're still going to be the better body we made for you. But, <laughs> but that would, in theory, cut your ties with Northart. And without any celestial influence we put in, it, it might cut your ties to celestialism in general. But we can... It's your life. And it's your identity. We can do anything and everything we can to help you stay as much you as possible. This is all really fucked up. Do we keep calling you Oren, or do you, do you want to pick a different name? We still... Oren is fine. Oh, the boy. <laughs> That's the only name I've known. Nothing about you has changed. Same as when we found out about the Northart thing. Question is, will he grow horns in the new body? <laughs> that is the most important question. I, I'm not he entirely might. sure. He might, actually. He might. The, he, the, he could. They won't be Northart horns, but he might grow horns. Depends what we're putting in there, I guess. Did we all well, see... Just because of the the object, it might that connection might cause you might still grow horns. Did we all what see object? the vision of the lady with the th faces and stuff? Or was that just Oren and then we heard about it? I think so. I think that was implied. All of you saw it. Okay. He was just the one that it settled on, like, yeah. at the end. Cleary, did you recognize those runes that the, appeared in that little vision we had? Do you know anything about that? They were, they were so old and indifferent. They seemed more like pictographs than runes themselves. Oh. Why don't you draw them before you forget what they look like? Well, I yeah. So I think about. So I want you for these. It's it's almost like hieroglyphs. They were very interesting concepts, but you also saw like, you know, mathematics would also appear and 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 like small sections of just symbols that that visually represented something down to its most basic essence. Mm -hmm. Like and yet strangely, it came down as language. I, when I woke up this morning, a... I wrote down the ones that I saw and the equations that I saw. Can I, like, slide those over to Query and, like, do a comparison? And see, it, Yeah, you see some similar symbols. And also ask, if, do these equations mean anything in, in regards to any of these? We could ask for one, two. Else, but... It's going to take me some time to study. This is... <laughs> archaic this is yet somehow more advanced than anything i've seen in my studies you know you know Does who comprehend might know, languages though? work on it uh because they're kind of like it, if it's make me an arcana check no but make me an arcana check 
Are they in the style of my tattoos? <laughs> and you have Bless. I don't know. Bless is what? You, you'll know who might know right? because he's old uh, enough 18. and smart enough. Uh, with an 18... You try to get a sense of it and you and you push in the magic. And as it does, like it begins to almost respond to what you're doing. But at the end of the day, it isn't a language that is within the realm of what Mistra understands. It's more like primordial or something. It's not primordial either. It's I just mean in whatever this is. Mechanics. This is a language that is that even the gods don't know. So older than Primus, probably. Well, Primus was there at the beginning of so he might know most then. concepts. So you might be able to speak with Primus. That's what I was going to say. He might. But know. you've seen Primordial before, and this seems more archaic than that. This is the language of pure concept. It is. A language like you, you try to interpret it and that's pretty much all you can get is that it speaks in concepts. It's not it's not like a structured language, but even without comprehending languages, you can kind of get the flow with the idea of what it means. Which is... Like if you just well, that's the thing is like, you know, you, you go to look at it. And it's like this is obviously talking about a bird. Like, but it's only one symbol at a time that you can. We kind don't of have like the context of how they work together, how they work, they get together. Gotcha. But you can, re the recognizable symbols and the equations themselves, you could make sense of, but as a language, you can't put it together. It just, it's like talking from concept to concept in a way that, that yeah. might be such a super fast way of communication or might just be innocuous and mean nothing. You're not sure. And yet just that small amount was enough for whatever this strange and whatever she was, her feet never touched the ground. Her flowing red dress was um incredibly ornate and she had a wreath of blades around her head her face was completely covered in a metallic mask yeah 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 boy Yeah. We certainly all have a lot to think about. And so I guess we just wait for uh big guy to come back. Yeah. So you guys, unless there's anything you guys want to talk about or do during this time, you continue eating for probably about half an hour before the sounds of trembles and the beating of wings. The shocks of his approach come before the sound does. And as he lands, he then, you guys can hear like a big rumbling outside shakes the entire palace and you can see like diamonds falling from the ceiling. Ooh. He then, you can see, see as he walks back into the space and then goes, mm -hmm. And he opens his mouth, and as he does, a Kirin just comes sloppily falls out of his mouth. <laughs> and then, <laughs> still alive, completely unharmed, just scooped up. <laughs> he says, I have brought a Kirin. Well, okay, thanks for that. <laughs> and then he looks at the Kirin and he says, Bestow. <laughs> and the Kirin goes, just. And as no, he does, he Kirin. just looks at you and he kind of glared. Like you could tell that this this horse thing and it's strange. It's almost like got the flesh of a dragon, like the same sort of gold metallic scales. Um, It's got like electric eyes that seem to just be glowing this bright blue color. And he looks over at you and he looks over at Or and he goes, and as he does, there's a sort of like light and a flash, and then he just like shakes his mane, and a bunch of Kieran hair falls to the ground. 
Oh, Grim will go and just kind of gather that up. Be like, thank you, I'm so sorry. I thank didn't you. mean for you to get Help eaten. Help to the food. There's some really good apples. <laughs> yeah. Just goes in the... <laughs> Put it just in the jar. jar. <laughs> Starts eating some of it. And then the uh, he sees the, <laughs> sees the holly font passed out on its back. <laughs> and then he just goes... And just like scoots away from it like he's still got like he's like notably got beef with the holly font and just like goes to the other side of the room. We vanquished your enemy for you. He's dead. <laughs> Says, with that, I believe our business is concluded. Well, I guess so. So this is certainly more than I uh bargained for today. <laughs> I think I serve as well. I was not expecting your arrival, but I was pleasantly surprised. Thank you for seeing us and for... And I do not regret sharing my lunch with you. It was the best meal I've ever had. I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, eh. <laughs> well, there's this one tie. <laughs> Thank you for all of the information and the help. Of course. And creature, do not let them speak ill of you. You know what you are now. You are no way a defilement. You were defiled. You are you. Discover what that means for yourself. I intend to. Now, as it is, it is my nap time. <laughs> so goodbye. And good luck. And then he... <sighs> and he breathes. And as he breathes this time, you guys are washed. Over. Any cursed items you are carrying are no longer cursed. Any curses you have, sorry, Grim, no <laughs> longer apply. <laughs> As you are truly, uh, whatever the word is, uh, restored. You are all at full health. Nice. Wait, does that mean that my Pixis is no longer cursed? Uh, the Pyxis? Yeah. It is not a cursed item. It's uh, it's its own thing. It's, it, it's not that it's cursed. It is what it is. <laughs> like, you can't, you can't. It was made that way. <laughs> it, it, I'm talking about items that would otherwise be, just have a small curse to them are no longer cursed. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, okay, well, like, 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 a, like a, like a. For instance, items if you had not item a bad is. luck stone, it would now just be a good luck stone. OK, if you had a sword that you just couldn't put down because I'm cursed to love this sword, that effect would no longer apply. OK, yeah. Could have brought all our cursed items here, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know if we have. No, no, that has like it has like a curse effect, but it's not that doesn't it wouldn't like it's not the kind of thing that like a removing a curse. Yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, are you talking about the pipes? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, the Pyxis has a blessing effect, but the the, the curse itself is, uh, yeah. It's a trigger thing. It's not like, yeah. yeah it's it's yeah. because of the essence of what is inside it is literally uh, telling you to open it. Yeah. If you fail the thing and you can't, and that's just a willpower check. Just, it's not really a curse. It's just. Yeah. It's. The, the box it is telling triggers you to a open curse. It. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it triggers a curse. It's not like it. Yeah, it's not like a. And, and again, curse all the time. Not even really a curse. So, anyways. Well, as it is, you guys. Now I can carry as all this. Breath others washes now. over you. Open your eyes, and you're back in the majestic manner. Oh, sorry. The How magic. much money did you say we guys? Did we say you would get again? I, I got like 180 it. platinum is what they gave you. Because you couldn't take gold, but it was eighteen hundred and nine. One hundred and eighty platinum, and I have the other. Hang on. Nine gold, sixteen silver, or whatever. Uh, that's fine. 
yeah, the nine gold would have been converted into silver. So just nine gold, six silver, whatever that is. Nine gold, six silver. Ta-da. I'm with that. You guys are back in your place. Great. Let's celebrate with drawing cards. All your mini <laughs> projects and all the things still where they are. Orin just receiving news once again that he wasn't what he thought. <laughs> jabated, jabated, and jabated again. I mean, it's not, it's, it wasn't what I've been told I was, basically. Aren't you guys so yeah. excited to know that Orin isn't actually his dad's son? I think that's good news, personally. So... Well, even if your dad sucks or fucks you over, it's still... It's still complicated. They still now you're literally like just some like attendant of some like goddess who's bigger and badder than all the gods. I think that's that's a promotion. You're like well, Northot before he was cool. That's what Orin before was. he was a grotesque that's not monstrosity. What I was. That's what I think we just learned. That's what you are. That's what Orin was, the true Orin. That's what your soul is, is that. That's what you the, speak. The you was, that is conscious. Was that. That was a memory from the soul that is that is you, the one speaking. Yeah, that's that's the thing. But. You are fused. With another soul. The one that protects you from the black icker that crawls over your body and your in your space within. Yeah, you're a, you're a sandwich of that in between Vermis's son and Yucky Northart Goop. This is all very confusing. Yeah. Yeah, I'd... that's why. We're going to take apart the sandwich and just keep the good stuff. It's great. I'm glad you're confident, Grim, because I'm even more confused than I was before. Vermis's I... son can finally go wherever he's going to go, and the Northart Goop can go... And it's great. Then you'll have a brand new body. I think, like he was saying, I think figuring out exactly who you are is, especially since your body was the only thing that was truly that, you are your own soul, you are you. I think is what he was trying to say, right? Yeah. No matter what you might have been at the time, you were raised by Viramus, just the same as you were raised by Prophecy. That is you. The memory of some old past thing that you once were. That can mean whatever you want it to mean. Or nothing at all if you don't remember it. Well, I don't remember it or anything about, about it. The only memories I have are of this life I've lived now. Yeah. The rest is like... Well, like past lives, right? If our souls have had other hosts before us. Doesn't mean shit if I don't remember it. it. Doesn't affect who I am or what I do. Look, speaking as somebody who's just a furbog, much cooler to be some weird monstrosity thing that isn't actually a monstrosity and is actually some cool, like, divine thing. That's way cooler. It would be nice to know more, though, who the lady was. What all that was about? How you're like almost. Uh, you're like we're like a few steps away from you, like not even being like about to turn into a monster. Like this is you're looking up. This is getting better. Pretty soon you'll just be like some regular dude with like a really really old soul. I don't know about regular dude, but. <laughs> I'm fairly Not certain he's going to be definitely uh, unique. a selector uh, created construct of living flesh <laughs> and mechanical uh, stuff with the with a very old soul. Yes, <laughs> but not about to turn into a Northot monster. That's you know that's the important. Yeah. Part. That is the most important thing, but also importantly, knowing that there'll be so many things, we're not sure exactly what will happen with the soul of, well, I guess whatever. I guess. Can we call him Orin One? Which one? Oh, I don't know. Well, that seems rude to 
our Orin that was our Orin one and our original Orin. Our Orin and the Orin other Orin. Vermis' son? Again, this is very much the you are you. What would you like to be called? Just Orin? What he, should we call the other is one? Orin. This one is Orin. Orin that we are talking to is Orin. Vermis' son is Vermis' son. Vermis' son's name was actually where Orin comes from. That's the confusing part. Well, he's just Vermis' son. Because Vermis' son's Vermis is name fun. was Orin. And he named the new one Orin, and he was named Orin. Can, the can Orin son Prime. was not our Orin. Our yes. Orin is Orin. This, there we he go. can be Orin. He can be Orin Prime. This is just so Orin. When you're in the new body, are you Orin Junior? Then how? I I don't follow how this works. No, just Orin. It's just Orin. Yo, so then there's three of you. It's so much. <laughs> Only one living me. <laughs> I hate to be this person, but and and you guys notice something, by the way, as you look on the ground and hear the soft snoring of a holly font. Oh, oh. oops! The holly font's with us. <laughs> In <the> yeah. <laughs> no, Baba, it's bad. He should have known better. How dare he? He's just that's... snoring, and you can hear. <laughs> baby's gonna be safe here, and baby's gonna be well fed well, until we can get baby back trip. home. Well, She's not gonna open that door again, so it will get righted. Oh my goodness! We after after getting out of the cauldron. <laughs> now it's back in the cauldron. At least the cauldron's a much <laughs> At least nicer it's in place a better now. one. <laughs> Just don't a better tell cauldron, it. more fun. Don't tell it. Just don't don't let it know that it's in the cauldron. You know, so unconscious right now. Just live in the mansion. The Holly Fund might really enjoy the casino, though. You know. <laughs> the, so the do we still need thing. something from the Holly Fund? No. We get you guys still haven't gotten any genetic material from the Holly Font. Take a little skin, like just scrape some skin off while he's asleep. I don't even know what Holly Fonts have. If they just have like, don't they have feathers? Skin, or if they have feathers, or well, they have they have uh, hair, or not hair, uh, whatever it's called. They have like leathery skin, and then their their ears are kind of like uh, have like a leathery featherness to them, but they're oh, well, they're oh, like clock like, like feathers. It's nighttime, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's nighttime. Yeah, we'll wait till we'll wait till it wakes up. We still didn't decide what we did during the day. <laughs> yeah. Sort of. Yeah, like right with what's left of our time, can we figure out yeah. how we spend the rest of the week? If that's yes, absolutely not changing. That's what I would like for now people to know. do, if possible. So, what do you guys um, do with your week? You do get a week of training. Has the skin arrived yet, or is it arriving this week? You weren't sure exactly when it would arrive, but it should should be arriving soonish. Because I'll be working on that whenever it does arrive. Primus did not give you an exact time frame for it. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to be working on making this potion for sure, with whatever I get from the Holly Font. Yep. So that's definitely a thing that's going to be done. So we'll say in the morning when the Holly Font wakes up, you just you guys hear a bunch of trumpeting just going on, like mad trumpeting. And then when you go... I, you say, I would not leave the Holly Font unattended. I would need to sleep with the Holly Font. <laughs> or gently around. carry. Be like, Bahamut did a big bath and accidentally it. sent you back with us. <laughs> And as you I'm do that, he just covers it. his he covers his face with his ears. But it's okay, we'll get you back, and until then you can have all the food you want. And then <laughs> You're still hungry. Whatever. <laughs> He's like this, and he goes. There's a pool to play in, there's several there's you know, the there's hot spring, the... cushy pillows. We'll show you around. Um and all you can sand. eat. Kitchen. You can make you can make angels in the sand in Aaron's meditation room. And then he just kind of like, he kind of like, he watches like during this time, you know, his ears kind of peel off and then he's just like, and he begins flying around the area, checking it out. <clears throat> Holly Font keeps just flying a... around for like most of the morning, ends up coming back. You can and order just... the invisible servants around. They'll make anything you want. They'll... <laughs> Next time you see him, he's wearing a robe. <laughs> I rolled a That's 22 just... unless anybody's assisting for potions and stuff. Or guidance uh, or anything, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Holly Font, the Holly Font willingly gives you what it can. 
Um, well, I mean, that's just like for my potion roll. I, I, I was assuming I'm just going to give me whatever he gives me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's going to give you whatever he can. Uh, it might even be like a piece of his tusk or something. Oh, I don't. That's going to be rough. But yeah, I just figured it would like maybe it'll let me clip some hairs or something. I don't know. Yeah, like some of the or tuft like, off of its tail or something. You yeah, know, yeah. Or, I, mean, uh, just I rolled a 22 some shavings off a potion tusk, roll. And to cut the tusk. I don't know if anybody's going to yeah, exactly. That's like, right. When I said a piece a, of his tusk, I didn't mean like, I'm just been like, yeah, I did. Like, oh, yeah, like some shavings or something. I, yeah, exactly. Or whatever. Uh, it, either way, it would be fine. Um, but yeah, this is, it's, yeah, I sharpen my tusk all the time. Take the shavings. No. Oh, uh, shit, like the end of a Q stick. Okay. Yeah, right. But 22, um, unless anybody's either assisting or guidancing or whatever. Ropsy is the um, only one who can assist with potion making. I so can't nobody I else knows how to make way. potions. <laughs> so if, if Ropsy's assisting, I'll I'll roll with advantage, and if not, mm -hmm. I'll roll solo. That but is up, up to Ropsy. Ropsy always assists. Okay, okay, then we'll roll again, just in case it is better. So this time it's a twenty-five. So a twenty-two. Well, the twenty-five. 25. Um, yeah. you guys do create some sort of serum. Uh, using these two things, it is golden. The serum that you create. And most of the potions that you make that that use these particular materials do not turn out this way. Um, usually this is like a sort of like a, like maybe like a, a bit of like a, a bluish or green color um, and has like, you know, little little bits and fragments of stuff still floating in it. But this is like luminous and golden. Um, and as you begin introducing it to the muscle, like as syringe, you watch as it quickly begins to suffuse and get absorbed especially um because you made it so good at absorbing nutrients with your spore um hybridization that you did with it so it immediately starts sucking up this nutrients and almost like you can see the muscles just pumping as you do it just like <laughs> and as you do you watch as the muscle starts to change color and starts getting slightly more golden Oh, look at you, golden man. You're going to have some weird looking muscles. And it's going to be covered by skin, but you know. <laughs> so as this thing continues to grow and you look at this body that is Orin, um, there are very few things that you haven't completed. The brain has been placed into the skull. The, uh, the the rest of the bones like seem to be in place and have the muscle fiber and everything continues over them. And what you guys are looking at is what appears to be like a golden body of just like you can see like a sort of like different colors of metal and like mithril and stuff like almost like silver for um, a lot of the bones. But the muscle itself comes over a gold and then you can see the vascular system has started to attach to the muscle properly and you see blue like glowing light blue veins that almost seem to peel across his flesh like lightning. What you guys haven't created, I believe, unless somebody else has done it and I forgot, are his eyes. Yeah, I don't think we've done eyes yet. Yeah, we have not. So instead, you are looking at a completely eyeless, but otherwise almost completely formed golden, glowing, blooded creature. Yeah, eyes have to like be stuck directly into the brain, so. Yeah, I would have assumed that was part of the nervous system. I mean, there's a nervous system for like controls and stuff, but it, it, it could still has to be attached, but there's no eyeballs. I just figured yeah, yeah, we yeah. avoided putting eyeballs in so we wouldn't just have a lidless thing because he doesn't have skin. Mm. <laughs> no, no, yeah, but the, the you mean you have to like connect the... Uh... The eyeballs directly with the, the optic nerve and everything so we can do that yeah. now that there's a brain in there we can we can definitely make eyeballs but yeah. the eyeballs are also pretty complex so they are relatively complex make sure you have enough cones and rods yep <laughs> we can put extra cones and rods and see it make them go insane make them see ultra make too. them see yeah make them see ultraviolet and stuff guys yeah, dragonfly quick, eyes quick. start make 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 a uh whatever the hell it's called uh uh um a perception Mantis chamber out of his eyes Let's give him mantis shrimp eyes. I can see like <laughs> way too so many. Make it so he can couples. shoot disintegration rays out of his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well his skin's done. We'll work on eyes next week. 
<laughs> no, I but think we I should just reward to ourselves. I now, so we can be like enhance, enhance. <laughs> they reward yourself. I think Midnair. No, is actually Midnair zoom out. Do. Yeah. You want to do rock paper scissors? To what? see who oh, goes come first. On. <sighs> Maybe after Arn's body's done, because I was gonna say if something what? bad happens, the muscles are done now. No, I mean the whole thing. Grim, Grim's like, I did my job. I did the all. I did the my things. job. I did my job. We have a yeah. wish thing. And what if one right. of these other guys tears some muscles? Well. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, we we've already had one fuck up that had to be redone. I still think gills would have been fine. Find out Minnie was ones. the one who put the gills on. <laughs> 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 You just did it with a stapler. <laughs> or or like approached one of the fish people working on it is like, where are his gills? <laughs> yeah, you and they're like, oh shit. Telling me you, you don't want to use this thing? Come on. I mean, of course I do. We could just draw one. We could each draw one. That's how it starts though. Just one. What there's no way they're doing There's no way they're doing this where you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who gave them? Where's the deck? <laughs> We're just like outside. What if we just, just whispering? <laughs> what if we did? We probably shouldn't do one. She'd kill yeah, us. That's... So we should do three. I mean, they three is like in look. Three. There's a lot of ways we can do this. <laughs> Who's there with us? Clary. <laughs> Who's like, she can't find out I drew one, though, if I draw one. She can never know. This what is, if she it, this is what cards? breaks the relationship. Clary, did you bring the flower? Of course I brought the flower. Okay, good. Oh should we, I'm going to roll the d4 to see how many I should draw. At the end of the day, he was once a fae. He has to play with it. <laughs> That's why but he should know better. Uh, I only rolled the one. Do we roll. We have to roll ones again. Three. What? <laughs> oh, for the number of cards? No, you roll the one. Draw one card. Don't don't draw three cards at once. <laughs> you have to roll. You have to roll threes again. Wait, where'd my thing go? Where's D twenty? Roll twenty. Oh. Did we finish the... that week? Everyone's no. Yeah, it's no like, one's done that... anything <laughs> yet. I would like to sidetracked. Do... I would like to do that so I can level up. Yeah, go do go session. do what you're doing. Go do what you're doing. Yeah, Grim's just outside. Yeah, what would you guys like to do with this week? I'm still gonna <laughs> be, I'm gonna focus on the uh, I think realm stuff. You're gonna have a hard time doing that without Orin. I think Orin, you're gonna need to. I can. I can. Yeah. So harass Orin, him as what much you... as I need to. Are you are you submitting to working on your inner realm? with building it with SETI or are you going to work on another project because you don't want to face that yet? It could um, help in the discovery of who you are. I'm hesitant because I don't want you to go into my current inner realm because that's dangerous. I mean, I can yoink you out of there and uh, we can work in a different space. I can. I'm pretty good at making spaces now. Like the yeah. dream space is fine, but my current inner realm is not a hospitable place for anyone. Yeah, this would be like developing a new inner realm, like for the new body, right? Because you're going to be like duplicating a soul, but the 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 realm itself uh, would be something that she would help shape for you, because yeah, she's doing it like within the that. dream space. And if I have any other time, I'll, I'll work on the rings I'm making for me and Caldera. Cool. Yeah, I would say maybe most of that's going to happen like in the evening because you don't want to spend like your whole day in the dream realm, right? Um, Definitely don't want to sleep all day, you know? Yeah. Um, but um, what this comes down to mostly, um, Belen is deciding what you want that to be. You can design your own inner realm in this situation or at least the basics of it. So take your time, like until the next time we play, which is going to be at least two weeks, um, to just kind of figure out what that, what new the new Orin's Inner Realm would be like. Yeah, I'll have to think on that one. Um, That said, that should take you guys 
a large portion of the week to work on. So we'll just go ahead and say that that's you guys finished. Um, the potions certainly take a few days for you guys to figure out how to do that. And that, I'm going to say that's just, just that'll just cap the rest of your week, with the exception of any time you want to spend playing with cards. Mitnir, what are you doing with this uh, week? He's going to be public image of uh, New Death again. Just <laughs> okay, out, yeah, out in the well, out in the public. Of God. Yeah, what kind of information are you spreading? That just you know shares like stories and stuff but you know also just whenever he's like he spends more time just out away like if he wants to you know meditate you know he's sitting out in just a public space just like taking it easy you know he's not doing anything particularly special just being very accessible to people oh yeah it's like oh yeah you remember you did tell me your stories you know like little kids just running up stuff mm -hmm. like that and that's what right. we do is just being like a public oh cool, yeah spreading 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 the the good word um for the new new death bible um <laughs> i will say the uh the rings i'm the making are i'm calling them ring of dream space so doing this dream space stuff with seti is going to help me significantly it certainly will i mean this will actually help you with both things um in the meantime you guys talk because i have to go to the bathroom i just have to <laughs> i can't not i've been trying to hold it this whole time like i gotta go <laughs> it's fine <laughs> So, uh, I won't draw a card yet because when I do, I'm drawing three cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, depending on how this goes, maybe we can draw more. Drawing cards will need more than 15 minutes, so I suggest yes. waiting till next session. Because <laughs> I don't end on a cliffhanger where somebody gets fucked and then we have to wait two weeks. <laughs> uh, but no, but that, we're going to have to wait anyway. That's definitely in Mittnir's yeah. head, though. Is thing, good things come in three, so he draw three cards. Like, statistically, probably <laughs> just based on the OG deck, like, probably a third of it is bad stuff. That means nothing, nothing will though. get you killed immediately, though. That's, there are no cards that do that. I'm not There's entirely some with... sure about that in the new in the new expanded deck. In no, the OG said, deck, yeah. in the OG deck, there are none that would. She already said nothing you. in the new deck. Will get you I have to admit, one. when you get your fortune red or whatever, if you'd gotten ruin again, yeah, it's been like, oh no. I will say though, there are cards that could lead to your character's demise, depending mm -hmm. how you, your character relates to things like in another campaign i was in i pulled some cards on that guy and he got one where he gets a free keep but his alignment shifted and he ended up going evil which eventually got him killed your cat's back <laughs> i saw that Ooh, tail go by food. she just <laughs> turned back and forth yeah that's what does. Or she'll sit right over here and stare okay, at me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no. So <laughs> the, the two cards you're referring to are the throne card and balance. Balance changes your alignment. It just inverts whatever your alignment so inverts whatever your alignment is, and uh, the throne gives you a keep somewhere in the world that is guarded by monsters. What if your alignment's neutral? <laughs> then nothing happens. You're like, I flip from neutral to neutral. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah, but if like you're chaotic, like if you're like chaotic neutral, you might be more lawful, you know, whatever. Like you might right. follow so rules a little bit better. What I'm hearing is that perhaps you should never draw a card. <laughs> oh, it's bad. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want evil Bropsy. Evil Bropsy. <laughs> yeah, it's just Bropsy, but she knocks stuff over all day. <laughs> I don't, I don't really people. think alignment stuff should really be in D&D &D anyway. I, I don't, I don't either. think so either. I think either. it's garbage. We never I don't think it. so either. It's, people aren't one blind. thing. It doesn't make sense. Nope, yeah. people aren't one thing. I agree. Well, it's nope. all the way you play your character. It's not necessarily a set alignment. It's more morals and judgment. Yeah, I, I would say that uh, a character that has its alignment switched, it just had like some chemicals in their brain that used to provide dopamine don't anymore or or or, or, or vice versa you have adhd now or hey your depression you had a psychotic break like what happened yeah like it's yeah the way i yeah. did it on my other guy is he was a little more flexible in his morals 
mm-hmm. for stuff that most people would find discomforting. He was just like, like we need a boat. Oh okay, yeah, we'll go funny. get one. We'll just take that oh, one. Who kicked Jiminy Cricket into a river? <laughs> like what happened? I would do that. One hundred percent. Yeah. Annoying little cricket. All right. So I mean we've got ten minutes before the session ends. So Roll it's in. entirely up to Yep. Twenty eight. All right, so you be were be taking one card, right? <laughs> yeah. He's taking one. As you pull a card and flip it over, you see the stars, and as they begin to form the actual image that pulls through and the veil is lifted, you see the image of a ship. What's that? It's a ship. The card sits in your hand, and then after a moment... It vanishes, and you see a symbol of a ship crawl onto your arm. That was quick and easy. (laughs) Welcome to the way Gagnor is doing the deck of many things. You can now turn into a boat. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> no you have no idea what it does <laughs> until it happens you've been, you've been marked the effects are not necessarily immediate in the deck of many things the way i'm playing it I want play. well, even in the original deck they're not always immediate mm-hmm. look me there i got a tattoo i do better you breathe on it What that do? <laughs> Clearly, is is this good? I have no way of knowing. I think you can turn into a ship now. <laughs> right. I mean, they already have it. a boat. Try think it. boat Jump thoughts. In the water. <laughs> water and think boat. <laughs> Just be like, I'm a boat. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we have a pool. Wait, yeah. leans Science. over to me. Are you just trying to get him to take a bath? <laughs> shut I don't... up. Mitnia, shut up. <laughs> it was like, on the one hand, I could be a boat. On the other hand, I might get wet. <laughs> like, I'm not going to take that chance. Not Boats going to float. Chance. Only one part of you will get wet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going. I do, can't risk my mushroom. All right. As it is, uh, do you do that at the end of the week? Yeah, I mean, we've already wasted. I mean, because we had like a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. So I'm going to say that that happens at the end of the week. So give it some time and then I'll ask you some specific questions about how you spend your time. That may be pertinent. Um, Warren, just write down that you have you drew the ship card. I drew the ship card. Wait, what happened? (laughs) I said Warren and then I said to write down you have the ship card and then it's. (gasps) Yeah, I didn't draw no card. (laughs) We knew what you meant. It's, just, it's out of my mind. No, I, I had a thing to say to Orin. Now for Orin. <laughs> and it flew away. I don't know. Orin drew the ship card. I did no such it's, thing. It, oh, look, thank guys, you. I didn't go to I a different dimension or anything. Orin, roll. Uh, does, this, does this mean I'm gonna get? Does this mean I'm gonna like get a relationship? No, if I can get a girlfriend now, <laughs> you can't. Nothing's going to force you to go into a romantic relationship. That would be an nope. eight. An eight? You're okay. Unless I still have bliss. <laughs> no. no. But you're okay. And with that, the week has <laughs> ended. So anybody who has leveled up now because of this can level up. That is me and Bropsy. Woo! Ugh, five more days. I am nowhere close. You're one weekend. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, the Grim is three weeks. Grim has completed three weeks of training. I have one three week weeks in one day. Uh, <laughs> I think I think Mittnir has four weeks, five weeks. Mittnir's yeah, this is the weeks. fifth one. Yeah, because I spent a chunk of the first one getting a level. Mm-hmm. So in theory, you could spend three more weeks. Get a second one. Get second maybe. level. Maybe. If you work out. The whole time and don't do anything else. <laughs> hey, Minnie, you went. I'm busy. <laughs> well, I mean, I could go ahead. House. I could go ahead and level up. 
Orin doesn't need eyes yet. <laughs> Depends if we're growing them or I'm making them. Well, that's the that's question, a, though. Is, that is the is question, how, is how do you want to do it? Because it depends on how we want to do it. If, if he doesn't need eyes right now, then Grim can just train. Or if, we, if he's going to do mechanical eyes, or if they, if they need to be, like, something, you know, not whatever. We are I'll happy through our if, cauldron time. I'll probably what? discuss it yep. with uh, Archibald and uh, St. Chortle. See if they have any thoughts on it. Yeah, I feel like Archibald was going to work on your eyes, but I don't remember him actually doing it. He made your brain. I mean, I feel like that's the same. Like, that's all connected. Like Everything's you know connected, what? babe. Well, we I... did talk to him. Okay. We did talk to him about eyes, didn't we? Because he was like, he had expressed an interest in the eyes because he's like, oh, yeah. I, I eyes, I do like eyes. Like, completely clear, like glass looking eyes. Yeah. Right? Because then they're the window directly to his soul, you know? <laughs> yeah, Archibald, I think Archibald had said that he Just wanted to do the there. eyes. Because like, yeah, so I think he did too. I think Archibald said he wanted to do the eyes. I think that's yeah. why he did the brain is because he wanted to do the eyes. Yeah. But how he was all we, like, eyes. You know, how can we see the great work of the brain if we can't just look through his eyes and you know, see the pieces? Because, you know, he's got all his like runes around his eyes and stuff. So he's like, he's like, of course, actually, yes, no, doing eyes this week, guys. I was going to take a break, but instead I'm making an eyeball for my friend Orin. Just one, though. <laughs> he's going to be a cyclops. <laughs> no, no, we definitely want two. Just to All of clear. this. Two eyes. <laughs> but what if we made him like, like, you know, he had one of those Ray-Ban kind of eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like a, like a beholder? <laughs> like actual, like, Cyclops from the X-Men, you know? <laughs> All of our Burton's character from Star Trek. I know you don't know what I'm talking about, but they're ancient texts. <laughs> <laughs> the ancient texts, yes. Uh, boy. All right. Yeah. No. It's not. Archibald will work on the work on the eyes. I will definitely consult with him about appearance and stuff. And like, like you're gonna get what you're gonna get, my dude. Yeah. What kind of functionality would you like? Sight, probably good. That would be that would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Dark vision would be good because I have that now. Oh. I hate to lose it. Wait, except you're we're right. Dark vision. Dark vision is probably good. Yes. Yes. Hmm. How to accomplish dark vision? Would you mind if your eyeballs created light themselves <laughs> so you could just have a spotlight everywhere you went? Certainly work in the dark. I already made that and I clicked my thing. <laughs> then you chill. You're chilling. Well, you what about like to... how like can cats see really well in the dark? Although I don't think they see that well during the day. So no, know. fine. Do you need infrared sight, true sight, ethereal sight? Do you need blind sight? Those would Should we have them just be complete sensory organs that do not need actual vision? You true could just not actually give cool. him... He could have no, no eyeballs. His brain blind. probably couldn't handle the true sight. I, I mean, his brain could, but like... He's like... Soul's brain, maybe? Like, I made a pretty bussin' brain, I'll tell you what. <laughs> But like, well, I don't have confidence in him. would be the best judge himself. of what the eyes would be capable of perceiving and processing. Hmm. Regular and dark vision would be great. Anything else is just a bonus. I see. Good, because I could probably only really give you one type of vision. Do you want to change your um, eye color? Because I wish I could do that. I mean, I can with disguise self all the time, so it's totally fine. But like, your eyes can see like what they see. There's no like turning it off and on, you know. So like, if you were having true sight, that'd be all the fucking time, bro. No, I don't want that. Yeah, that would be awful. You look at people, and it'd be looking like see all their pores all day. You see just a person, you'd be like, all I see is a shit tube. My current well, eyes are like yellow, like golden yellow. Golden yellow eyes. Is that your go go? Because I'm not gonna lie, they were probably gonna end up blue otherwise. 
<laughs> They're swimming with all that vetiver's nectar. Now I'm going to have to put dyes in there. <laughs> I mean, blue is fine. No, it don't have to be. Like I said before, I could totally make them something different. Okay. I'm just... If they oh, can match the actual colors. gold in there. The current ones are gold and yellow, so that would be nice to keep the same color, but if not, blue is fine. Look, I'm going to make the aesthetic choice to and go with... And then she rang and asked your girlfriend what she wants. What color is your... Your skin's going to be gold, too, so golden eyes with golden skin, you might be a bit one note. But again, it's your body, they girl. Be no. <laughs> Yeah, I could make your eyeballs actually covered in gold because I can give you blind sight instead. Coat the orbs in gold and then you would have actual golden spheres moving about. You could still see. You just wouldn't actually need to have your eyes open to do so. The range would be limited. You're not going to be like an elf where you're like, oh, check out this mountain. It'd be like, I could see everything within 60 feet and nothing else. <laughs> but if that's chill with you no 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 it's fine they're your eyes seriously do you want if you want them gold chillin do you want like the whites of the eyes to be a thing because I'm gonna have to paint that for certain <laughs> It's, they don't have to look exactly like my eyes now. It's fine. If it's just something that matches the body, you know, it needs to look like it fits. All right. I'll work very hard on this. Good. Well, have a great week, y'all. And he just heads off. It's like, time to get ingredients. Oh, this is the best thing we're going like shopping. Bropsy would periodically check on him to see what they look like. Uh, I would say like halfway through the week, you see that he's got like um, basically what he's working on seems to be a significant number of like crystallized bits of Vetiva's nectar mm -hmm. that he is using to make very, very fine lenses um, mm -hmm. that are being inscribed with runes. And they're like the size of like, like you've never seen somebody work on something so small before. I mostly just like completely I focused in. Because Oren needs to look like Oren. He's also, working on it. The muscles, they're done now, right? The muscles are and they're just, growing. They're growing. They're growing and they like the skin should be ready to attach as soon as you get skin and are certain it will work. I'm just gonna write down the status. It's like currently growing. <laughs> Beans. And the eyes are in progress, right? The eyes are in progress, yes. Yeah. Okay. So I have a note of it, each part that makes sense. Almost everything's done. Just muscles, eyes, and then the skin. That's all that's left. Two beans. Unless Mitnir wants to breathe on something right now, because stuff that he didn't breathe on. <laughs> is there anything that you finished recently uh there's the i mean vascular system the skeleton wasn't breathed on but i mean isn't all that like integrated together for the most part now yeah i mean you could just breathe on the whole thing right now sure i mean do what you want at you. That is a 32. So, nothing. Oh, you haven't leveled up to 32 yet? Oh, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> he attempts to breathe on it, but he's actually just breathing on the outside of the tank because you're currently submerged in bed of his nectar. Oh, and, and, it just, and it just goes, and it just goes, <laughs> just like a bubble. Just, <laughs> just kind of, Nice. So that's good. He's like, and then he's like, 
Oh, God, what was his name? Oh, could you not do that, dude, boy? I'd rather enjoy you don't breathe on my things. Thank you. Professor yeah, McCule. Just nosed the glass. Just fogged up the glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, I believe we started, our, our stop time is 7.30, so we are at that time. Yep. Um, so everybody, thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, I know that's kind of an unceremonious ending, but guess what? It's not a cliffhanger. Yeah. Uh, Yay. which is my favorite way to end a session. So we'll pick up next week, or yep. not next week, but maybe the, the week after, with uh, the next week in the game. Um, in the Temple of Purity, the Quixotic Lock. Week eight. Uh, yeah. But until then, we love you and remember, we did it for the we rolls. We did it for the, for the rolls. rolls. Good night.